I am this school's... Ah! I knew this nigga was gonna jump scare me, bro. So y'all see it on my y'all see it on my PlayStation 503 p.m. That's for the time right now in California, right? Because I haven't switched my time yet. 703 Thursday, February 12th. This is before the gameplay has started for this last trial. I told myself, I was like, look, I have my own speculation idea. Speculations and ideas of who I think the mastermind is. It's gotta be Makoto. And you know why I feel this way? This is how I feel like Spike Tunes off is doing this. The fact that, Mu or I was gonna call Makoto Mukuro. The fact that Makoto is the ultimate, like luckiest student, right? Like ultimate luck or something like that. I think his, his like ability, his ultimate characteristic was, a was being able to frame the the mystery of the school, the, the tragedy that happened thousands and thousands of years ago or whatever the f*** that happened. He committed that, but he was lucky enough to pin it on somebody else or it's got to be Makoto, man. Who else could do it? Kyoko is a detective. She's helping me solve this. This last episode, man, I haven't even been playing the, the song, but this last episode, everybody looking at me like I'm crazy. It's got to be Makoto, and I'm going to be hurt if it is, but I'm going to play this clip if it is too. Again, the timing is before this gameplay starts. I'm going to show you all the, game, the time after this gameplay. If I'm right... Danganronpa. What? Good show! Welcome back! Hey, to some more Danganronpa. Don't mind me. Just making a little quick clip before I start the video because, well, you'll see. Let's get this last trial going, y'all. Trigger happy habit. Look at all them students that have come and gone throughout this damn school. Since this will be the final class trial, I've come up with a special rule. What is it? So listen up. I'm listening. If you can figure out Mukuro's killer and go on to solve the mystery of this school, you guys win. That's not the special rule, bro. We we already established that. But if you can't, yeah, then I win. What is this um nursery rule book that you just read out of? And of course, waiting for the loser is the super exciting, super heart pounding punishment. This is the thing, though. One of the students has to be controlling him. There's no way that they computed these commands out of out of Monokuma. So, who isn't here? Are you saying that if you lose, you'll execute yourself? Or maybe one of the students who's already gone away fake their fake their own execution because they. No, nah, that will go against the rules. Let me just be quiet and play the game. Yep. Sure will! And that's final? No loopholes? No wiggling out of it later? Of course not! Bears never go back on their word! Never mind all that. I just have one question for you. Oh, you're taking this serious, huh? Are you feeling okay? Hero, what you about to do? Is the mastermind only one person? Would he ask that question if he didn't know? Maybe. I don't think Hero that smart, though. I think I do his voice way better than that. this voice actor. He asks. Hmm? Don't bother. I already know the answer. Don't bother. I already know the answer. You're all the mastermind, aren't you? You're all out to get me. Excuse me. <sighs> Banyan. I'm right, aren't I? I knew it. Bro, are we really doing a truth bullet for this crackhead, bro? In his mystical balls? Pause. Golly, that's two for two right now. Group photo places the check headmaster's ebook. You guys have all been working together, haven't you? No, sir. I have evidence, so I know I'm right. Hey, you stole my line. You're all out to get me. I'm sure of it. Oh, so now we can figure out why they was I all running from I have evidence of my own. 
What a coincidence. I too have evidence to present. Evidence that proves everyone other than me has been working oh, together. Okay, w everybody's what? group photo Wait, is missing. Hold on, this doesn't make any sense. How can the three of us each have that kind of evidence? Did I really miss? Hey, you stole my line. Oh, You're not allowed to get photo? my right, evidence. My fault, what a fault. coincidence. Evidence that reset. proves every. What? This doesn't make any sense. How All right, I'm gonna use this, this, this and Kablau. Let's talk about no, it. No, that's wrong. Every time I see that word counter show up, I think he's saying the C word. I'm like, it's Spike. not just you three. I have evidence too. We all do. What? You too? Yes, sir. The evidence you're all referring to is this group photo. Show right? Show Makoto, the one without you in it. Who took it? Well, well, yeah. Huh? Wait, but mine's different. With the picture you have, I'm in it. But that can't be right, because in my picture... I gotta see where Makoto's standing and... Oh... See? I'm the only one not in it. Makoto, why are you f***ing getting washed, bro? Run faster. Sakura, you're in last place. Why are you like... Bro, look at Sakura, like, big as hell, buff as hell, slow as dirt. Slow as molasses. Okay, I don't see Hina here. Junko and Shihiro playing together. Damn, who is that on the side? Look at Mukuro, bro. Were you too cool for PE clothes? F*** out of here. That's why you in a body bag. Figured as much, in which case. Hero, you have a picture too, right? Let's see it. Uh, okay, but be careful with it. It's pretty important evidence. Hero, I'm not trying to... Where am I at? Where am I at? Where am I at? Okay, I'm chilling with Sakura with my notebook. Oh, no, no, no. Kuyu's reading. This one too. It's just like I thought. Leon. So the secret in these pictures has been revealed. Secret or whatever, I don't care. You guys are all in on this together. That's why I'm the only one missing. Um. But you're in my picture. Right? Calm down. You're the ones trying to trick me. So the whole purpose behind these photos was to get us questioning and fighting with each other. The mastermind laid a trap to make us each think everyone else was working against us. And it worked. Y'all fell right into it, huh? like always. I laid a trap? A trap? How rude! What grounds do you have for such audacious accusations? The proof I need to reveal Monokuma's trap. Each photo has a certain something in common. There's a connection regarding what person... <laughs> And that person is the one who got the photos. Come on. Come on now. I got it! Y'all finna drag it like this? In each case, the only one not in the picture is the person who received it. Okay. So, in the picture I got, I'm the only one missing. It's not a candid, though. In the picture Hina got, she's the only one missing. Hmm. She loves sports. And in the picture Hero got, He's the only one missing. Maybe Hero loved donuts? Snacks? Who don't love snacks? As long as we're talking about it, I suppose I should show you my photo as well. Yeah, hurry then. Why would he sit back? Okay, this is... Yeah, look at Leon, bro. He not slick In other there. words, Monokuma gave each of us a group photo in which that person wasn't included. But when we each saw our picture, we just assumed everyone else was the enemy? I assumed I was the enemy. <laughs> Figured it out, huh? Yeah, I thought that must be it. But how was that a hint? Hold up. But you know, there might be more to this than just Monokuma trying to confuse us. There's something else that bothers me about everyone's pictures. What is it? What's digging at me? Listen, can I see everyone's group photo one more time? It's not directly connected to what we're talking about, but I'd like to double check something. Sure, no problem. Sure, no problem. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm sure there's something unusual about these group photos. What is it? I need to compare each of them one more time. Kuya's picture. Look at Sakura! Why is it even swimming with them and why are they cool with it? Bro, Sakura kind of look good. I don't know, bro. I mean, I know she buff as shit and she can whoop my ass with one molly wop of a, of, a, of a high five. Look at his Fumi big ass getting mega air. Bro, Mukuro. 
penis picture. Hero's picture. And mine. Something strange about all of them. Something I can't quite pin down. Something... Group photo has been updated. Can you huh? just forget about the photo already? I wonder what he saw. Ugh. Trying to trick me with such an obviously fake photo? I'm still pissed about that. It seemed like Makoto's picture and Hiro's picture had like similar placements. Like Sakura was standing in the middle and hurl. Like, I don't know. Maybe Photoshop? I don't know. And on top of that, they went to all that trouble to make it look like we were wearing matching uniforms. Right. Hmm? So you think they're fake? No, no, no. I assure you, they're quite real. What are you talking about? There's no way. Yeah, I don't remember ever taking a picture like that. So it's got to be a fake. I'm sure of it. But you know, can we really be so sure? Huh? Don't get me wrong. I don't remember taking this picture either. But is that really enough to be absolutely positive they're fake? If I sit like this, y'all gonna be cool for a minute. I'm not bored. I'm very entertained. Just my neck hurt, you know? It's a long ass neck. The real long neck. Let's keep, let's keep it going. What do you mean? The reason I don't remember this picture isn't necessarily because it's fake. There might be some other reason. Some terrible reason. An unbelievably, an un 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 unbelievable but entirely horrifying reason. What are you thinking, bro? Hangman's Gambit. The Hangman's Gambit. The hang, 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 hang. Um. R. It, it's gotta be an R. Um. Amnesia. Oh, I thought we were trying to still figure out why, um, look at my health bar. Now I, I understand. I trying to figure out the contradiction in the, in the photos. They wanted to know why he couldn't remember. Okay, gotcha. Well, let's say that somehow, we'd all lost our memories. That could explain it, couldn't it? It could definitely explain it, Makoto. Absolutely, sir. Clean jacket as well. Oh, I get it. So we all just lost our memories at the same time and forgot about the photo. Makes sense. Why you say that so sarcastic? As if. Okay. You expect me to believe such an unbelievable occult type story? I mean, yeah, you of anybody, bro. Yeah. We all lost our memories. That's just crazy. It's only natural that they wouldn't believe it. But no matter how much they refuse, if that's the absolute truth, they have no choice. We can't move forward until they accept. And there's another way to prove it besides those pictures. Kyoko's account. Ooh, 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 the interview DVD for sure. Yes, sir. You're saying we all got spontaneous amnesia? Since when did this turn into some kind of sci-fi fantasy? I promise you, I haven't lost my memory. Ever since I got to this school, I remember everything that's happened. No, no, that's wrong. Hey, you don't remember this photo? I'm, I mean, this video I'm about to put on the TV. Yo, Monokuma, roll that clip for me. Those photos aren't the only things that point to the possibility of memory loss. This DVD does the same thing. You're not gonna show us something indecent, are you? Like you wouldn't like that. You're the freakiest girl in this room. N no, it's nothing like that. It's a video of all of us being interviewed by the Hope's Peak Academy Headmaster. When you say all of us, you mean... You too, Hina. <laughs> you're not, you're not, um, exempt. I mean all of us, including you. Yep. You lie! I never did any kind of interview. No, it's not a lie. Just watch the DVD and you'll see for yourself. Absolutely. Put it on. Yo, Monokuma, roll that for me. The headmaster did, in fact, interview you. What are you saying? I didn't imagine you would remember. It's not about whether or not I remember. You expect me to believe all this? That I 
I lost my memory somehow? Y'all, the only reason that I'm yawning is because I'm hungry. I'm waiting on my food to get here. And I told myself, you know, you need to eat before you record. Then it turned into 7 o'clock. My power went out around 12 p.m. Didn't come on until about 4. You know how to play a few games at Apex. Started recording 7 o'clock, 3 hours later. Day got away from me. Now I'm sitting there starving. Hungry. Just trying to finish the trial for y'all. So please, please, still hit that thumbs up button for me if I seem a little tired. As soon as that, that meal gets here though, I'm going to have to start eating in front of you all. So I hope that you got your snacks, your breakfast, lunch, or dinner. And are going to join in dinner with me. Or at least join in a meal with me. Thanks. Well, we don't have any way to refute it, so we have no choice but to accept it as reality. How can you say that? We're talking about living, breathing amnesia here! To be honest, I have something else on my mind right now. What you got on your mind? Something else? You said the DVD contains recordings of us being interviewed by the Headmaster, right? Yeah, you can take a look yourself. That fat-ass TV behind you will show you HD quality of you saying, I want to stay here forever, sir. What were the interviews about? Let me show you. The Headmaster sat each of us down, one at a time, and asked us the same question. He asked us if we could accept the idea of spending the rest of our lives in this school. What kind of question is that? And how did we answer? We'd say no, obviously. That's what you think. Actually... We all said we could. Even me. Sorry about that. I heard myself say yes. I could spend the rest of my life at this school. Why? Why would you say yes to something like that? I don't know. I don't remember a thing. The same goes for everyone else. Nobody remembers. None of us. You don't remember choosing to live here forever, or even talking to the headmaster about it at all. It doesn't matter if I remember or not. Even if I bought the whole amnesia thing, the idea that I would want to live here forever? That's just insane! How can I believe that? Insane or not, we can't move forward until you accept it. Am I right? Big right. You sure are, cause it's all true! What? Yo, hero, relax, bro. I know it sounds absurd, but if it's the truth, there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed. We only have one path in front of us. Then we really... Yep, you all totally lost your memory at the same time. Wow. This is all making my head hurt. And this isn't like some normal kind of memory loss. You stole those specific memories from us, didn't you? How though? Like, what's... What technology do they have to steal memory that... Uh, I don't know, bro. Oopsie! You figured that part out, too! Of course. There's no way we would all just happen to get amnesia at the same time. But... How could someone just steal our memories? Great question, Togo. I'm curious, too. How? Yeah. Come, come, come. That hardly matters right now. Oh, that's trash. If I said it was hypnotism, would you believe me? Or we opened up your skulls and messed with your brains? Would you really believe anything I said? How it happened doesn't matter right now. That can't be true. What matters is figuring out what memories you took from us. That's what you're trying to say, right? <laughs> I knew I could count on you! That's just like some animators just throw you off and be like, Oh, okay, I guess it is possible, F it. The interview with the headmaster, taking that group photo, those can't be the only memories we lost. There must have been a purpose to it all. A reason for taking away our memories. Of course there was a purpose. It all has to do with the original motive! You mean the motive you came up with? To try and get us to all kill each other? To prove that despair beats hope. That has something to do with the memories you stole from us? <laughs> it sure does. But that part's still a secret. Anyway, I'm sure it's not easy, but let's all focus on the class trial for the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student at Hospital Academy, watch out for her. She's dangerous. Okay. 
So you want us to figure out who killed her before we do anything else? So until we do that, well either way, we have to explain every last remaining mystery. So, the one who killed Mukuro, the true mastermind, that's what we need to expose. Alright, cool. I feel like that was just an intro to the class trial. Alright, Mukuro's profile, headmaster's handbook, Monokuma control room. So who did it? Who killed her? Whoever did it is the same one who's behind everything. That much I'm sure of. But when you think about it, is the mastermind really here in the school? Of course! They have to be here somewhere. What makes you so sure? Um... What does make me so sure? <laughs> exactly! You're just making stuff up! There's no way the Mastermind is here! The Mastermind is probably a million miles away! Cause Masterminds always lurk off in the background, right? Okay, I'm positive that somewhere in this school, otherwise there's no way they could have controlled that machine. Okay, so that's so the monitor in the control room. Who killed it? Whoever did it is the same one who's behind every I don't that think much of sure when you I think it's the, the mastermind real Of course! They have to be here somewhere. And there goes my last health. So who did it? Who killed her? Okay, I have an idea. Whoever when she say it, million miles away, is the mastermind if I shoot it with this control be? room. That might exactly. contradict because the control you're room right down the fucking hallway. Up. There's no the mastermind is probably Please, Lord, a million Lord. miles Please, away. Please, Lord. Thank you, no, Lord. Lord. There's no question that the mastermind is somewhere within the school. Yes. How do you know? Did you find some evidence or something? Yes, I did, Toko. Now relax before you pass out. In the out. back of the data center. I found a panel that controls Monokuma. The mastermind must have been using that to control him all this time. So there can't be any doubt. The mastermind has been inside the school all along. So does that mean that he's in there right now? There can't be any doubt. In which case, there also can be no doubt that the mastermind is one of us. What? Why? Recall what Makoto told us Monokuma said to him earlier. I'm sure I told you this already, but this killing... Oh yeah, we know, we know, we know. 16 are still in here. So if the mastermind is in the school, we have to assume it can only be that 16th student. But how'd they manage to survive all of this? So we're the only ones here? It's not me! I'm not the mastermind! Well, it's not me! I blame Makoto! Of course. What? Why me? Yeah, why me, bro? Let's talk about it. Cuz! It's super weird how you're the only one who survived being executed. Oh, I get it. The only way he could have survived is if he was actually the mastermind himself, right? That's what I was kind of thinking, but... Aw, nuts! You got me! Wait! What are you trying to say? Whoa. Everyone, calm down. There's no reason to panic. The Mastermind's true identity will become clear soon enough. Just as soon as we find out who killed Mukuro. <laughs> Kyoko, who are you? Everybody looks suspicious right now. Every single person. That's a good point. Rather than wasting time bickering, we should put our minds to work solving this mystery. Yeah, well, how much time have we already spent talking about the murder? Yeah, well, how much time have we already spent talking about the murder? He's right. What more is there to talk about? Oh my gosh, I feel so much better. If you want something to talk about, I think there might be one thing. What you want to talk about, baby? How about that delicious 10-ounce ribeye I just had? It was fire. We haven't fully established what Mukuro's fatal injury was. That's true. It could have been a knife, could have been an explosion. Let's find out. Huh? But I thought we figured that out. She died when she got hit in the back of the head. I forgot about that. I forgot about that too. No, that isn't actually what killed her. It was something entirely different. Talk about it. Wouldn't you agree, Makoto? Yes. Mukuro's actual cause of death must have been... No, the stab wound was more camouflage. You proved that yourself in the last class trial. Oh yeah, now that you mention Shoot. it... Alright, no, 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 I know what it is. I know what it is. The 
I hide their wounds, the ones beforehand. All of the wounds covering her body. That's what really killed her. Yes, sir. Hey, now hold on a second. You did read the Monokuma file, right? I did, Hiro. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. It made it pretty clear. Those wounds were made at least a few days ago. So they can't possibly be what killed her. Consider this. What if the murder itself took place at least a few days ago? What? What if, when we discovered her body, she'd already been dead for several days? If that's true, then naturally the wounds that killed her would appear to be however many days old. Mm. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You know it does. Because... Because she had all those wounds before she ever came here. How do you know? Huh? How do you know that? Right. Isn't it obvious? She was the ultimate soldier, right? So that means... Y you know... You're wrong. I don't know why you assuming. <laughs> she denied me. <laughs> before I could even say anything. <laughs> Yo! Yo, Toko, you got problems, girl. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Come on. I mean, you think I'm not weird, okay? At least listen to what I have to say before you deny me. Why was you like happy she did it though? If you're so sure we're, we're gonna deny you, why bother saying it in the first place? All right. What is the question that we're trying to contradict? Or oh gosh. All right, come on. Mukuro was the ultimate soldier. Yeah. She must have been in a, a hundred different battles. So when you think about it, obviously she got all those wounds in battle. Are you finished? You didn't deny me this time, z -Z. <sighs> You made me go off. Don't worry. There wasn't anything cute about it. You know, those wounds didn't come to the battlefield. One look at what was written about her and that should become clear. Mukuro was the ultimate soldier. She must have been so... When you... Obviously, she got all those wounds in the... No, that's wrong. No, Mukuro didn't suffer those wounds in battle. The file we found in the headmaster's room said as much. Despite the time she spent in battle after battle as a member of Fenrir, when she entered this school, she hadn't sustained a single injury. To uh, be denied so completely... Actually, it's kind of refreshing. I knew you liked it. Oh, maybe it's because of all of Master's training! Guarantee when nighttime come, 10 p.m., you creep into his room and y'all start that training. Hero's there, Kuya's there, uh, Mondo was in there before he got clapped. Makoto sneak in there and watch. It's a train. Anyway, I mean, it's a training so session. So we can be sure that Mukuro suffered all those wounds after coming to this school. In which case, they could be the very thing that killed her. <sighs> True. As a matter of fact, it's hard to imagine any other possibility. When examining her body, I found that her stomach and head wounds came after she was already dead. Okay. Unless anyone has any better suggestions, Put this on auto. I think we can say this with confidence. The wounds Mukuro sustained all over her body are what ultimately killed her. Okay, cool. Now how did those get there? This is my next question. Then she Mukuro got some big old bazoongas on her. But if that's it. what killed her... Then does that mean she's really been dead for who knows how long? Well, we did find that That's freezer. That's exactly what it means. Full of dead bodies. When we found her body in the garden, she'd already been dead for several days. You're walking around playing with corpses, though. So then, what about the little matter of what happened last night? What you talking? What are you talking about? That was last night? Makoto, you said you were attacked in your room by a masked assailant. It's only been a day? Oh my god, I'm taking long on this game. If Mukuro had already been dead for several days, certainly it couldn't have been her. Facts, you know, it couldn't have been. So who was it that attacked you? That's a great question. The identity of the one who attacked me, I can't think of anyone else. Oh, okay, well, duh. I got it! The one who attacked me 
was the true mastermind. Yeah, but that doesn't tell us anything, Makoto. When we discovered Mukuro in the garden wearing the same mask, I naturally assumed she must have been the one who attacked me. Damn, somebody set this up perfectly. But I was wrong. Big wrong. It wasn't her at all. It was the mastermind. It was the mastermind. <laughs> what are like that. you laughing at? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just getting a little impatient sitting here listening. I think I'm gonna jump in. Let's start off with a nice, easy question. Your assumption that I attacked Makoto is just that, right? An assumption. You can't really know who was under that mask, can you? I mean, that's the whole point of a mask. Fact. The true identity of the masked attacker is Mukuro Ikusaba. At least, that's what I think. <laughs> Do you have any evidence that might convince me otherwise? No, there's no way Mukuro, whatever. Even if I didn't see their face, Mukuro had a very obvious Fenrir tattoo. Comparing that to the masked attacker, all on her right hand. Okay? It should be obvious. Ugh, I got that Fenrir tattoo on my hand, and it makes me stand out, out to my other peers. And you know that we bow, bow, about to kill, and you know we bring the thrill. You never saw their face, right? You don't need to, Monica. So you can't have any idea who was under that mask. I'm telling you now, it was Mukuro Ikusaba. You're wrong. Even without seeing their face, there's another part of the attacker we can use to prove it wasn't her. Oh? And what is this other part? Is it the right hand? Or yes. the left hand? Maybe the right foot? Whoa. Or perhaps the left foot? I, I fr he freaked me out! You wound me, you wound me, Makoto. Words can cut as deep as any blade, you know? You interrupted me while I was talking. Shoot. One Okay, I think I'm supposed to absorb right hand and shoot it at when she, when it's a Mukuriku Saba right here. You never saw their face, so you look, can't look, 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 look. I'm, I'm gonna shoot it right there. It was Mukuriku Saba. There's another part right of the hand. Oh, telling you now, it was. Me. I'm telling you now. No, I'm telling you now. Like, watch out. Hit, hit his truth. Mukuro had a tattoo on her right hand, if I remember correctly, a representation of Fenrir. In other words, a wolf tattoo. Yes, you've told me but this. But I saw the right hand of the person who attacked me. Okay. Did you? And Ooh. there was no such tattoo. I never noticed that stance. So there's no way the person behind the mask... I'm an idiot. How did I not catch that this whole time until right now? I bet there's a lot of stuff that I just let pass right by me. I bet y'all all know who the mastermind is already. It was Mukuro. Uh, yeah, well, okay. You got me. I guess it wasn't her. Shut but up. that still doesn't prove that it was me. It could have been, uh, you know, someone else, right? It could have been, but it's Toko, not. Toko, Hina, and I all have solid alibis for that entire night. Yeah, we were in the gym tearing you apart, so it could have been any of us. Oh, okay, sure. It couldn't have been any of uh. you. But uh, what about Kyoko? It totally could have been her. It could have been. It definitely could have been. Uh-oh. No snappy comeback. Did I score a bullseye? If you insist, I don't mind showing you. Whoa, what does that huh? mean? Show me what? Right? What do you think? I'll show you the one thing that proves beyond a shadow of a doubt it wasn't me. What is that? Before anyone could say anything. Whoa, she about to sing for us? Sermonic solo? She pointed at me? Kyoko was removing her gloves. Your hands! Without thinking, I let out a gasp. <gasps> it was more than just a little burned skin. Awful, isn't it? It happened when I was first learning to be a detective. I was inexperienced. What happened? I can't see I it. I thought you didn't want anyone to see those scars. If it means we get another step closer to unmasking the mastermind, it doesn't really bother me. What? Let me see. 
Kyoko seemed to savor the words as she said them. Then she put her gloves back on. Bro, we can't see it as- Oh, okay. I saw a little bit. My scars should suffice as proof. How? How do they suffice? Oh. Makoto, did the person who attacked you have scars like mine? Not at all. They use jergens. No, not at all. I'm positive. Then this much has been made clear. There can be no doubt that the one who attacked Makoto is the true mastermind. <laughs> this is just awful! On top of my secret being revealed, I had to look at those positively grotesque scars of yours! Uh, sorry, did I say that out loud? I do hope I didn't hurt your you feelings. Just call it scars grotesque? Not at all. You can say whatever you want. Sure, as long as it means pushing me farther into the corner, right? But I'm not cornered just yet. Because if you haven't noticed, the circumstances surrounding Mukuro's death are totally unknown. That's right. true. All we know right now is she was killed a good while before this morning. And how? On the contrary, we don't know anything other than that. You're not going to tell us she was already dead before we arrived here or something, are you? <laughs> In that regard, you have nothing to worry about. I promise you, without a doubt, she died after our little killing game began here. Then hmm. somehow, she was killed in secret without any of us knowing. Right. And after she died, who knows how much time went by before we found her, right? Right. Did the culprit stash her somewhere? She couldn't have been in the garden the whole time, could she? The bio lab. Yo, Makoto, speak up, bro. If she was, she would have been totally decomposed. Just like your brain. Then, she was being stored somewhere? Yes, sir, about to tell you but where. To hide a body here. Yeah, it's gross. To just store it somewhere? It's gross, trust me. There's only one place. I can't think of anywhere else the body could have been stored. I got it! Mukuro's body was probably kept hidden in the bio lab. Bio lab? You mean on the fifth floor? That's the one. That's right. It's actually set up for use as a morgue. So it's the perfect place to hide a body. And it'd keep the body preserved at the same time. Then you're also saying the body was moved from the bio lab to the garden. And I have no doubt that that's exactly what happened. In fact, I have proof. The proof that shows the body was, was carried from the bio lab to the garden is the tarps. There's something that made its way from the bio lab to the tarp. Yes, yes. I, I got, got it. it. Yes. What makes me so sure well, the we're body getting was there carried slowly from but the surely. bio lab to the garden is we're getting there. The tarp that we found in the garden. When I was checking it over again, I noticed something. I noticed that some text had been stamped on one corner of the tarp. This merch, bio lab merch. Oh, it says bio lab. Holy cow! How'd you notice that tiny little thing? Makoto's nitpicky nature seems to have surfaced with perfect timing. This proves that the tarp originally came from the bio lab. In fact, there's a whole stack of tarps just like it in there. So when the killer moved the body to the garden, they must have grabbed a tarp to wrap it in. Yep. Then they simply left it as it was to protect against the sprinklers and put the code on it afterwards. Yep. Wow. You made everything sound so amazingly c consistent. C consistent? <laughs> That's just a wild guess. Oh, yes. Where's your evidence? Prove that the body was wrapped in a tarp and moved. He there up. is no evidence. I was simply explaining what I think happened. But you seem to be getting pretty worked up about it, wouldn't you say? Definitely. I never see Monokuma sweat or have a vein in his skull. Like, are you good? Worked up? Now that the conversation has turned to the topic of the bio lab, you must be getting pretty nervous. Because the key to uncovering your secret identity is hidden within that room, isn't it? Let's find out. Are you talking about unmasking the mastermind? You see, the biolab contained an inconsistency. One so major it can't be overlooked. Whoa. 
An inconsistency in the bio lab. Could you be talking la, about? La, I can't hear you. La 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 la. Uh, did he really just do that? Such a child. Oh well, just ignore him. Who acts like that? Hmm. I need to pull myself together and think. The inconsistency in the bio lab. Could you be talking about? Hey, by the way, Makoto, what about that one thing? What is he trying to change subjects for? And what is this inconsistency? Is it the 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 freezers to the uh, bro? I don't know. What one thing? <laughs> what do you think I'm talking about? Your family. What? Bro, what is what is bro talking about? <laughs> don't tell me you forgot about that video message. Yo, Makoto, your mom got them big bazoongas. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know how old your sister is, so she need to stay in school, get good grades. And Mr. Makoto Sr., what did it look like he do for a living, bro? He looked like he a, I don't know, pastor or somebody. He a youth minister. Oh, so gosh. So what do you think? Are you sure your family's still okay? I don't know, bro. I know they believe us. I hope they made it to heaven, because that couch is going to stink. Why are you bringing that up now? Why are your hair get nappy when you get nervous? Your mom, your dad, your little sister. What do you think has happened to your family? Are they really as safe as you might have assumed? Fuck. Stop talking about that! Yo, focus, Makoto. Calm down, Makoto. He wants you to get upset. Exactly, exactly. Don't fall for that. Yeah. I need to calm down. I can't let him get a get to me. He's just saying that because he knows we're getting close to the truth of the bio lab. So if I want to shut him up, I need to expose the inconsistency and slam him with it. The inconsistency has to be that one area where the numbers just don't match up. Was it the number of lockers to the bio labs? What are we doing? Oh, thank God. Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Are you sure about this? That's impossible! What? What do you want? Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Bro. Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Are you sure about this? That's impossible! Woo! I'm, I'm a beast at that. I'm Take not this. listening! What the f***? What the f***? Are you sure about this? That's impossible! I'm not listening! This should prove it! Woo! The lights! What, 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 what lights? I don't remember nothing about no lights! I just played this game! How I figured out the lights? The consistency Kyoko's talking about is... The lights! The lights over the lockers, okay? <laughs> What are you talking about? Uh, what about the lights? <laughs> like I said before, the bio lab also acts as a morgue. And as part of that, a giant refrigerator was installed in there. Yep. That's where everyone who's died is stored. Yeah, 16 lights, got you, and nine of them are lit up. I understand now. And it was set up so that when a slot had a body in it, a blue light would turn on. In other words, if the blue light is on, that means there's a body in that slot. Yes, sir. But I counted up the number of blue lights that were on, including the one Mukuro was in, and there were only nine. Why does that matter? You gotta give me the bite-sized version here, man. Bro, oh my gosh. Nine lights doesn't make sense. The number of lights that should be on is... So it's more. It's gotta be ten. I got it! Ten of the lights should have been on. Any other number is incredibly suspicious. S suspicious? Why? That's simple. Just recall who's died here so far, and it should become clear. Yep. 
That's right, the key to solving this mystery. So y'all could die first. Okay, we're gonna do this anyway, cool. Junko was second. Leon was third. Shihiro was fourth. Mondo was fifth. Mondo, that's what I forgot. Taka was sixth, and Ifumi seventh. Golly. Oh my gosh. That's nightmare inducing. Sakura was ninth. And victim number 10 was Mukuro. Hmm. So 10 people in all? So one of the dead. Wow. That's right. Any other number should make you immediately suspicious. But according to the lights in the bio lab, only nine people were being stored there. Hmm. You're seeing a dead body just up and disappeared? Okay, now I'm interested. Now I'm interested. I got it! The mastermind destroyed one of the bodies to get rid of evidence. But uh. if they wanted to do that, they would have destroyed Mukuro's body since they actually killed her. Mm. And yet, her body was left alone. Then, whose body disappeared? Shit, that's what we're trying to find out, Hina. It Hina. may very well be that none of them disappeared. Okay. But if that's true, then why doesn't the body count match? Right. Including Monokuma's executions, there have apparently been ten deaths, but there were only nine bodies. That's the point I'm trying to make. I'm completely lost. How can the number of victims be less than the number of murders? The reason there are less bodies than murders, the explanation for more murders than victims. Why is that? What would it take for, it to, for that to make sense? There weren't actually 10 murders, but 9. That's why there are 9 bodies. That's patently untrue. Kani Monokuma's executions, there have indeed been 10 murders. I think we can all agree on that. Actually, you're completely Shoot. right, so... Somebody died twice? What sense does that make? If there's less body than murders... Oh, duh. No, that makes perfect sense. That makes perfect sense. I got it! What about if... The same person was killed twice? Right. Huh? Killed twice? Officially, 10 murders have been committed so far. But one of the victims may have been murdered, and then murdered again. Bro, are you telling me Mukuro is Sayaka? Huh? Murdered and murdered again? If that's the case, there could have been 10 killings, but still only 9 victims, right? Technically, you're right, I guess. But still... Something like that could easily have happened. No, it is what happened. Sounds like you're already convinced. Then can you tell us who was killed twice? It was Mukuro, of course. Okay. Before she was killed as Mukuro Ikusaba, she was killed as someone else. And that's why the body had to be stored in the bio lab until the moment we found it in the garden. No, 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 that's crazy talk. She was killed as someone else? Come on! Besides, who could that someone else even have been? All you have to do is look at those bodily injuries of hers, and that will become obvious. Getting knifed up? Nothing's gonna become obvious! I mean, Junko had a bunch of knives going through her shit. Because Kyoko's totally delusional! Bro, when Monokuma, when Monokuma killed Junko... Monokuma killed Junko, hold up! What are you trying to tell me right now? Junko attacked Monokuma herself and then paid the price. She's the only one who's ever done that. And it was knives all through her body. What was Junko's even ultimate... Who is this someone else that Mukuro was killed as? Was it Sayaka Maizono? Junko Enoshima? Um, yep, yes ma'am. Kuwata? Chihiro Fujisaki? Mondo Kiyotaki Fumi Celestial? Or maybe... No, no, there's no way anyone was murdered twice! Watch this, watch Who this. Who is this? Some, was it 
Sayaka, Maizono, Junko, and Oshima. Leon Kuwata. Who is this sub? Was it Sayaka, Ma Junko, and Oshima? No, this won't. Wow! Talk about it! I told Junko. you! Wasn't her fatal injury pretty similar to Mukuro's? They finna okay. do this? Oh my gosh, what a twist! No! Oh well, my god! She was impaled by a bunch of spears all over her body. How did I not see this? And I, just, I just didn't care. A number of wounds across her body. I just didn't care about the wounds on her body. Like I, I was like stuck on some other shit, bro. I was just stuck on getting out, but the whole time it was right in front when of you me. Compare that to the stab wounds Junko suffered. Yeah. And the similarities match. Yeah. Yes, and those are the only fatal injuries that match up. That explains why those two bodies are actually one and the same. So let me see if I have this straight. Oh my! Whoa! Whoa! Junko, or someone going by that name, was stabbed to death with multiple spears. Right? Then her body was kept in the bio lab for however long before being dragged out again. Okay. Only this time, it was presented as the corpse of one Mukuro Ikusaba. It all matches up, right? Those wounds Junko suffered... No, don't stop it! ...could easily be these same injuries. Yep, easily. It's really true? Mukuro and Junko are the same person? Wait, so then... What does it all mean? It means that there haven't been ten victims, but nine. Which also means that among the people we thought were dead, one is still alive. And that's the true identity of the Mastermind? Who is it? Who's behind all this? We already know the answer to that. It's Mukuro. She's still alive! Mm. She took Junko's body... ...and made it look like she was the one who died! Wow! Wow! So Mukuro is still alive! She's gotta be! Total silence? Then I must be right. I'm right, aren't I? Mukuro? Alive? The one that's still alive is Mukuro. But... Can we really believe that? No, there's no way. There's no way Mukuro Ikusaba is still alive. Like I was hoping it wasn't a truth bullet. Mukuro's fatal injury, Monokuma 5, Mukuro's profile. Okay. Look at Monokuma sad now. The body I got one health. Found in the garden. Uh huh. It wasn't Mukuro. Then she's still alive. That's right. She made it look like Junko's body was her. No. So the mastermind's true identity is Mukuro. What do you say, Monokuma? Do you give up? Hmm. For that to be true, then that couldn't have been her body we found in the garden. Player in the Players Club. Just doing some dang and ropa. Dang and ropa? Yeah. Here he comes. Ikiro Yukisaba is the first ascent. <laughs> <laughs> then that couldn't have been her body we found in the garden. Is that really possible? The body we found. I think it has in to do with her profile. It wasn't Mukuro. Then she's still a that's right! So the mastermind's true identity is Fuck. Mukuro! What do you say, it's Monokuma? Trial, do you bro. give up? Hmm. Why is it wrong? Did I miss? Normally when I I, I think I missed, because normally when I when I hit it, it, wasn't it stops. It wasn't Mukuro. No, it wasn't. He gives a f No, that's wrong. What? How did f it? That's a W. That's a W. No, the body we found in the garden was Mukuro. 
That's one thing we can be sure of. What did you read that I forgot about? The body's appearance and measurements oh. are consistent with her oh, records. Oh, okay. Right, Kyoko? Right. She was five foot six inches tall That's and weighed right. 97 pounds. Her vitals were 31, 21, 32. Everything in her profile is consistent with that corpse. And then there's the matter of the Fenrir tattoo. So there's no question it's her. But... If Mukuro's not the mastermind, then... Someone's made it look like they died, but they're actually still alive. There's only one person it could be. What? What? It's gotta be Junko, then. Here's my answer. Junko is still alive. It's the only possibility. Kuya, quiet. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Huh? I admit, since Mukuro is undoubtedly dead, Junko does seem to be the only other explanation. Hell yeah. But we saw her get impaled. She died right before our very eyes. If Junko were still alive, the death we saw would had to have been some kind of charade. But you yourself confirmed she was dead, did you not? Me? I didn't touch her. She must be talking to Kyoko. Wait, now that you mention it... What? A, what? I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse like they do in movies and stuff. But... She... Really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. I did check, absolutely. And I can say for she sure. She was dead. There's no question. Junko was dead. Okay. So, the idea that she's still alive. It must be wrong. Then you're withdrawing your previous statement? <laughs> bro, get out of here with that poo hoo bull, bro. I know you gave it your best shot, but too bad. I guess your conclusion was a dud. <laughs> too bad, too bad. This case hasn't been decided just yet. Okay, Kyoko, step in with some with some with some evidence. Oh? You haven't given up already, have you, Makoto? Huh? No, of course not. There's no way I'd give up that easy. That's all well and good, but how do you intend to solve the problem standing in your way? Junko absolutely died. Mukuro absolutely died. Then both of them are dead, right? There can't be any kind of survivor story. I think we need to look at this from the opposite direction. Huh? The opposite direction? Let's assume Junko is still alive. Okay. If so, how could she have survived? How could Junko have survived? I checked her. She was dead, I'm sure of it. But still, if she were alive somehow... Could it be that Junko's not the one that died? It wasn't Junko, but someone else entirely. On that first day, maybe she used some sort of trick. Oh my gosh! Hangman's Gambit, this is my favorite one. Stunt double. What does that say? Rap, rap, re, 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 pro, re, re, replacement! Replace! REPLACE! Uh, replaced! Give me an A! Give me an A! Give me an A! Give me an A! Bro, give me an A and quit tripping! Thank you! Replace! Give me the E! Give me the D! Let's go! So you two yeah, and me, Junko, pretended to be Junko, but where did Junko go then? Or Junko pretended to be Muko, pretended to be- What if she switched places with someone else? Switched places? Yeah. That's right. Before the spears could kill her, she got someone to take her place. Wasn't Junko acting out as if it was out of character or... Specifically, Mukuro Ikusaba. Then that would make it Mukuro's corpse that showed up later. Which is why the body's height and weight and everything match Mukuro's profile, right? I don't know anything about this switching places thing, but... That had to be Junko who got stabbed to death, right? It don't have to be, bro. Yeah, you're saying they switched? 
When could they even have done that? Before the gym announcement. Right when she was uh, about to die? Like she used some kind of ninja replacement technique? Good point. There's just no way they could have switched like that. So maybe the whole idea is wrong. There has to be some way. I need to figure out how to explain how they could have switched. I got it! The two of them may have switched places from the very beginning. Why though? Why? What? From the beginning? I was just meaning before they walked yes, into the gym. from the moment we first met. If that's when they switched, then they wouldn't have had to switch at the moment of death, right? Why? Why? What is? What does Mukuro gain out of dying, pretending to be Junko, for Junko to win the whole thing? After all, the one we saw at that point would have already been Mukuro. Right. Uh, hold on. So you're saying the Junko we first met? I was not expecting any of this. Was actually Mukuro all along? Wow. Wow. Then yeah. We'd already met her. That's exactly how I feel. If I if I was willing to make that face on camera and be mean for immortality forever eternally, then I would do it. But because I know how the internet works, I'm not going to play myself. Even though I do have a clip on the internet where I was shaking my ass for a hundred and fifty dollar donations because I need rent paid. I had like a normal conversation with her. When we first met, none of us knew who anyone else was. So Mukuro could have simply told us her name was Junko. Wow. And we never would have known the difference. That would easily allow the two of them to switch places from the very beginning. That's crazy. Wait, but Mukuro had a tattoo on the back of her hand, right? Ooh, facts. Junko never had any tattoo like that, did she? She could have hidden it with foundation or something like that. Man, come on, that's a weak way out. If she did, it likely melted away in the explosion, Ooh. exposing the tattoo after the body was extinguished. Oh, I thought it was cheap, but that's actually kind of clean. Plus, there were the fake nails found on the hands of Mukuro's oh. body. I always thought it was Junko. Bro, I swear, in episodes back prior to this, I was like, but it looked like Junko hand. But I never would have thought. I never would have thought. They were the same fake red nails she was wearing when we all met for the first time. Cause Yugo was kind of cool, like I enjoyed her character, but for her to end up being the mastermind, huh? But if she really did use foundation... Correct. Even if there was no tattoo on her hand, I couldn't say for certain it wasn't Mukuro. Right, right. So I'm glad nobody noticed that glaring hole when we were trying to figure out who attacked Makoto. But too bad for you, Monokuma. You can't deny it anymore. Let's go, Kyoko! Let's go! Wait, so... This whole thing was a setup from the very beginning? Absolutely. Who did you... Th what did you think, Hero? High ass. Big Banyan fucking head brain. If that's true, Banyan it brain. was quite an elaborate plan to be sure. Making it look like Mukuro was Junko. Look, Banyan is cool, but if you a Banyan brain, fix your life. You end up like Hero, and look at him. Next to Monokuma, still nervous. Bitch, it's Junko. The reason such an elaborate plan was possible is because the two of them were working together. Mm -hmm. So Mukuro, the ultimate despair, teamed up with someone like her. The In ultimate. other words, it would be fair to say that Junko herself was also the ultimate despair. Ooh, it's a group thing. It's a group thing. What's wrong? Lost the will to fight back. It's a group ting. I think he's just afraid. Afraid? What's that mean, afraid? Fear is only possible where hope is possible. I only have despair, so fear is an alien concept to me. Then why haven't you been saying anything? Because it's a bunch of nonsense. Junko's my secret identity. Maybe, I don't know. Now you're making me doubt myself. <laughs> Ew! Oh, yeah. Ew! Ew! Then why did you try and protect Junko's real identity? 
Yeah, shut your bitch ass up. I tried to protect her identity. Right? When did I do that? I don't know, fam. So he still refuses to admit it, but he can try to deceive us all he wants. It doesn't matter because I've already figured it out. He tried to hide Jungo's identity and not just once, but twice. The first time was during our latest investigation. I'm gonna just... I got it! While I was in the AV room, watching the DVD of our interviews with the yeah, headmaster... You have, you have to explain this one, bro. I don't know how this connects. I'm waiting! Uh-huh. It wasn't just the monitor. The DVD player itself had apparently turned off. Okay, and... Which, of course, meant that the DVD wasn't playing anymore. Okay, and... What the heck just happened? Oopsie! Looks like it broke! Out of service! What? It, j it just so happens to break now? No, then! When doesn't matter! Failure can strike anywhere at any time! That's what failure is, right? When did we have this conversation? You made sure I couldn't finish watching the video. And the reason you did that because I would have is because Junko. you didn't want me to see the real Junko. Oh did my you? gosh! Whoa! Oh, yeah! If everyone was in that video, of course Junko would have had to show up. But Mukuro showed up instead! If Makoto saw the real Junko, it would have been totally obvious that the Junko we met was an imposter. The that whole power outage thing was just a fluke! Whoa, I have been oblivious. And y'all come in the comments. You never pay attention. That's why everybody dies and all you're gonna play through is Kablani. Suicidal. No, it wasn't a fluke. The mastermind definitely orchestrated that power outage. And that's not the only time they tried to hide Jigo's identity. The mastermind, oh no, tried to cover up one other piece of evidence. I've gotta reveal that. Yeah, we gotta reveal it together. I smoke these now, watch. Did he just growl at me? this already the video wasn't the only thing you tried to cover up you did the same thing with this group photo uh, uh -oh. <laughs> let's go the end of the game I noticed it just a little while ago when we were all comparing the photos we got yo Junko Junko come show yourself come show yourself girl In it's all okay the photos there's a certain similarity an unusual circumstance. Come show yourself, girl. What, what's so unusual about them? The unusual circumstance common to all these pictures. Yeah, show me the pictures real quick. I saw it. Junko face is blocked out, bruh. I got it! Junko's face. The one thing common to every single photo is that you can't see her face. It's hard to believe her face would just happen to be hidden in every single picture, don't you think? So, everybody who was hiding her face was part of the problem, I guess, right? And on top of that, in this photo, you can see that Mukuro is clearly visible. So, in other words, at that point, the two of them hadn't switched yet. When was that, though? We still got the whole murder of the school With part. all that in mind, there's no doubt that the girl whose face is hidden here is the real Junko. Hell yeah. Who would have thought Junko would be a problem? Which That's is why crazy. you had to have pictures that didn't show her face. Because if we could have seen her face, then it would have clearly revealed that the Junko in the pictures wasn't the Junko that we knew. 
facts. Xanadu! Who? I believe everything Makoto said is true. Hell yeah. Junko and Mukuro switched places before we met either of them. Yes, they did. So she killed Mukuro, who had taken her place, making it look like she died. And the real Junko... Nowhere to be found. ...is still alive. But nowhere to be found. And she's the one behind this whole murderous situation. This killing game. Gra -gra -da -da -da. She's the true mastermind and the ultimate despair. Xanadu times two! Xanadu, Xanadu. With this, the identity and the crimes of the mastermind have been exposed. No, no, wait, hold on! Don't bother trying to deny it. There's no more room for debate. You don't have anywhere left to run. I'll prove everything, right now. Prove it then, boy. I like that energy. Closing, oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Really, my nigga? Really, right now? I don't think this is gonna be it, but let's try it. Whoops. Here's exactly what happened. I don't know about exactly, bro. But we'll find out, though. All right. We met the ultimate fashionista, Junko and Oshima, right after we all arrived here. But that wasn't the real Junko. She look good, though. And no, so, somebody, somebody told the me... The girl we saw before us was actually the 16th student who had taken Junko's place. Somebody told me that these students is not underage, so they said these kids was 19 years old, so I can say whatever the f***. That's only six years younger than me. Shit, seven. Now I'm kind of old. That's still kind of gross. I apologize. And that girl's name was Mukuro Ikusaba. The 16th student... Oh, I got it right. Okay, cool. But it wasn't long before she died at the hands of Monokuma. In other words, the mastermind, Junko and Oshima. Her body was kept in a bio lab, which had been converted into a morgue, until Junko decided to put her body to use. Junko dragged the body out of the bio lab, using the tarp to carry her to the garden. So far, so good. She fabricated the murder to try and frame Kyoko, who'd proven to be one big thorn in her side. Caddy, petty ass, um, um, you know, you know. Meanwhile, she wanted us all to think Mukuro was still alive and hiding somewhere inside the school. Woo! Give me that. Damn it. Okay, so she want So she put on a mask and then attacked me. Busted. After making sure I'd gotten a good look at the mask, she left the room. Then she put the same mask on Mukuro's body. This was all to make us think the person who attacked me and the corpse were one in the same. So gross. She wanted us to believe the murder had only recently taken place. Yo, Junko kind of smart for this, though. Finally, by strapping a bomb to the body, she was able to destroy any remaining evidence. She needed to hide the body's true identity. She had to make sure we didn't find out it was actually the same person we'd met in the beginning. This is the truth behind Mukuro's murder. Wow. And the one who carried it all out is the true mastermind. The, the one who's controlling Monokuma is Junko I I Ichiwada. The real Junko and Oshima. Who would have fucking guessed this, bro? That's the whole story behind this incident. Well, what do you have to say to that? Look at Hero Face. Look at Hero Face. What? Are you broken again? You can't get out of this, so don't even try. Come on! It's time you finally revealed yourself! It's not like you're an endangered species or something. How long do you plan to keep hiding? 
Yo, Junko, I need you to walk down here, climb on that ladder behind you or something, bro. Give it up, Junko. Thank you. The game's over. Thank you. Let's do this. What an interesting end of the game. Over. Bro, all I hear is PG screaming upstairs off this outlast. Like, relax, bro. We all been through Big Brocky. <laughs> what the f***? Did you really think this story would end once we reached the climax of the case? Yes, I was hoping so. Wrong! There's still plenty more to go! So are you Junko or not? What the f*** is going on, y'all? Is that Hero? <laughs> Waiting! Waiting so very long for peasants like you to appear! What is that voice? What is that crown? If you swear your fealty to us, we will reward you with why half of smiling? the entire world! Why, why is Hero smiling? We've even drawn up the deed already! We will grant you honor, status, in some of our home cooking! What is, what is she talking about? Have you made your choice? Will you serve under us? No thanks! Oh, did you think I was being serious? Sorry, I was just messing with you. What? It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. What is that voice acting, girl? You sound like a Avril Lavigne. It's been so long since I've had an audience. Even I'm not sure what kind of role I'm supposed to play. You sound like Daria, bitch. Get your ugly ass out of here when you go frying that, frying that ultimate, ultimate, uh, execution that Monica, that you had planned for us. It's your turn. What the fuck is this? You a Naruto fan now? This is the mastermind? She's the real Junko Inoshima. Anyway, looks like I've finally been set free. Anyway, looks like I've finally been set free. Shut your ass up. Having to play Monokuma all the time? Day after day. What is it this? It was like I was stuck in purgatory. Or like a slow suicide. I get bored so easy, you know? This voice acting is fucking garbage, y'all. Your face! Huh? What about my face? Show us! What's wrong with my beautiful face? People have told me I'm cuter than a hundred chihuahuas combined. I feel like... This isn't the first time I've seen you. No, I do remember seeing it. I'm sure I've seen her too somewhere. It was definitely before I got to the school. I got it! That's right! It was before I ever came to this school. I remember seeing a magazine cover. I'll let your desk get home! And... you were on it! Maybe. Wow, you have a pretty good memory. I guess that's why you've made it this far, huh? So I was right. Then what you told me in the main hall when this all began... I've seen her on tons of magazine covers, but I feel like that doesn't quite match up to reality. Huh? Oh, are you talking about my cover photos and junk? Ah ha ha, well of course. Um, those are totally photoshopped. Photoshop, can you speak up, please? Yeah, you know, edited to hell and back with, like, computers and junk. Oh, so they aren't real? Bro, I can't hear you speak up! Sometimes a little lie is necessary to keep things moving along. When that explains why she didn't quite seem the same. Because she was a different person all along. I'm me. And Mukuro is Mukuro. You set her up for death. She tried her best. But there's just no way she could have passed as the ultimate fashionista. Two people can never become one as long as the walls of mind and body exist. Not even if they're twins. <laughs> twins! I know. It's such a cliche, right? I'm almost embarrassed to admit it. But your last name is Inoshima. Hers is Ikusaba. How did that happen? So basically... Mukuro and I had your stereotypical twin relationship. Okay. Um... The older sister, tough and proud. That was Mukuro. 
Younger sister, smart and cute. That was... <laughs> Me! Junko fucking Anishima! What the f***? And together, we were the Despair Sisters, a.k.a. the Ultimate Despair! What is that Illuminati shit you throwing up, bro? I don't f*** with it. Whoa! She's a totally different person now! Like I said, I get bored easy as hell! I even get fucking bored with myself! Yo, relax, Junko. B but if, if you're twins, why do you have d different last names? Oh, that again? You have any idea how many times people ask me that shit? Maybe it's new to your dumb ass, but it bores me to tears. She roasted. Answering the same questions over and over? Just make up whatever answer you want. I don't give a shit. The truth's fucking lame anyway. Damn! But if she was your twin, that means you killed your own sister? And for reasons deeper and darker than the ocean. Ha! <laughs> As if! Well, I suppose I'd better explain. For my plan to work, Someone had to be able to control the killing game from behind the scenes. The so-called mastermind had to operate Monokuma, keep an eye on everyone, things like that. But after looking at the situation, I determined it would be impossible for Mukuro to perform such duties. Because naturally, she turned out to be the letdown of the family. Wow. Leaving me behind to run off and join some band of mercenaries. Such a disappointment. So, I decided to play the role of director and have her join the rest of you in your school life. I could have let her work alongside me, but she would have been useless to me that way. Besides, 15 students seemed like a solid number to start with. Huh? Of course, the fact that she was the ultimate soldier posed something of a problem. She had what I call the three atrocities. Atrociously rank, atrociously filthy, atrociously repulsive. You got atrociously big bazoongas. It was atrociously clear just how out of touch she was with the rest of society. Meanwhile, my ultimate fashionista status has an undeniable appeal that I didn't want to go to waste. And that's... why you switched identities? Sadly, her inability to match my personality was even greater than I'd calculated. It was a lost cause. She was nothing more than a bit player, an extra unworthy of lines. Being the utter disappointment that she was, anyone would have expected her to get killed off right away. Which is precisely why I killed her. To meet everyone's expectations. That can't be your only reason, can it? Well, no, of course not. I also did it to avoid becoming bored. I've never been a stickler for following a plan to the letter, you know? What is going on here, y'all? If I planned everything out and knew just what was gonna happen, That'd be so boring! So, I changed things just a bit and decided to use Mukuro to make a little point! In other words, Mukuro's death was a one-sided, premeditated act of betrayal. Just as I suspected. When Mukuro was killed, she must have been as surprised as anybody else. Wow. <laughs> so you figured it out? Well, you're right! There's no way Mukuro could have pulled off such a convincing performance. But she did teach you all a very valuable lesson, don't you think? How can you talk like that? You sacrificed your own sister! Sorry, I... How I'm does that not even text, bother you? Right here. What? I sacrificed her? That's what's got you so hot under the collar? Jeez, misunderstandings sure are scary. We were the ultimate despair, you know? So we never had any kind of hope or expectations. Nope, I felt despair as long as I can remember. Like I never should have been born at all. When I was born, I cried tears of total despair. So that's why for us, it's not a big deal whether we die or kill. We're just those kinds of people. We can do anything. We've always been filled with despair. So when we do something, we go all the way and live without regret. So you just murdered your own sister and didn't think anything of it? That's not true at all. We were twins. How could I not be sad? 
That's why it gets me so excited. Huh? Killing my precious sister with my own two hands. That act is filled with so much despair. You can't help but put a super in front of it. It's Yo. like super, 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 super despair. No, more than that. Super, 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 super despair. They're trolling me with this shit right now. It just feels so good. What the hell is wrong with you? You're trolling. And my sister too. In that moment of death, I think she must have felt that despair. After all, to be murdered by your own sister, and only as an example to someone else, she must have died feeling such excruciating hopelessness. I'm so jealous of her. Super jealous. I knew you couldn't be just some ordinary person. You're some kind of abnormality. Turning your own despair into some kind of fetish. Abnormality doesn't even begin to describe it. Like, Genocide Jill is crazy for sure, but this is a whole nother level of nuts! You're saying I don't compare to some lowly beast that can only kill the weak, right? Oh. Yeah. So, I'm hopelessly attractive, hopelessly brilliant, hopelessly athletic. I'm the hopelessly perfect ultimate human. No. I don't think there's anything perfect about anything you just said. Yeah, Master's way more perfect. Cause on top of everything else, he's got that noble blood. Hmm. Don't you mean had that noble blood? What, what did, did you mean? just say? What do you mean by that? What did that mean? <laughs> you still haven't figured that part out yet? Man, you guys are so slow! You haven't even solved all the mysteries, and yet here you are, yap yap yapping away! Are you talking about our memories? You've already solved this mystery, right? I'm the killer! So how about the next one? Maybe you should solve the riddle of your missing memories! Then you can start gloating! Damn straight! That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to solve all these mysteries. And then, we'll have our victory! <laughs> I can't wait! All right, then let's just get straight to the point. What memories did you steal from us? When the group pictures were taken, and those interviews, it must mean... I got it! It must have something to do with our entrance day exams! Don't dare! At least give us a hint! Your brains are like sponges! All drippy and leaky! I already gave you a hint before! All the memories you lost share something in common with a few other things! Do you recall? Thinking back to what Monokuma told us... The memories that were stolen from us and what they must be relate related to. I got it! You're talking about the motives you provided to try and get us to kill each other, right? So you do remember after all. Well, I would hope you wouldn't forget something so important. It was stupid of me to even ask. I apologize from the bottom of my heart for my bad manners. So then... Let me ask you another question. Did you notice that each motive I presented you had a specific theme to it? A theme? Yep, you got it. So that's my question to you all. When Sayaka was murdered, what was the theme of the motive I presented? Betrayal? Oh, okay. Um... I got it! The driving force behind the motive you presented us with at that point was human connections. Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Remember those DVDs I gave you guys? Each video showed the total destruction of your most important relationships. For example, your family. For example, your friends. 
I ruined all those relationships and showed you the results. Damn. It was to motivate your desire to escape and kickstart your urge to kill. Oh my god. But still, what a cruel thing to do. You're the one that did it! Yes, well, I'm perfectly happy to accept your disapproval. Okay! Time for the next question! Um, so, what was the theme for the second motive? For the second murder, the motive's theme was... That's when we got those weird envelopes from Monokuma. Mine mentioned how I used to wet the bed. So the theme that time was... The past. I got it! It was... Our past, right? Yay! Makoto got it right again! That time, the theme was... I'm the only one who ever answers. <laughs> Kyoko Tudo. Embarrassing memories and secrets! Yeah! And the whole reason Mondo did what he did was to protect his secret. So, how long do you plan on dragging this out? Relax, relax. Okay, on to the next question. So, what was the motive for the third murder? The theme for the third murder was... The reason Celeste turned to murder was she wanted to buy a European castle and live there with a bunch of handsome men. So that time the murder was... Uh, greed. It was with that money. It was the, the cash prize. I got it! It was money, wasn't it? Greed. Yep. Seek and destroy! Hell yeah! You got it again! She a fucking weirdo. Yup. Goddamn straight it was money! Celeste killed Hifumi and Taka for a little personal gain! This is the worst Junko version. Her greed led to all kinds of death and destruction! What's the point of all this? Why are you making us go through this case by case? <laughs> Don't worry, sweet cheeks. Just one more to go. Now, can you tell me the motive behind crazy ass Sakura's crazy ass death? The motive in the case of Sakura's death was what was it that made Sakura decide to kill herself? It had to do with Monokuma exposing Sakura's secret. So the theme of that motive in the fourth case was blackmail. Monokuma blackmail ogre to get her to kill us. What you call blackmail, I call doing business. You just don't get it. Shoot. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Betrayal, it's betrayal, it's betrayal. I even put that in the title of the video. I got it! In her case, it was betrayal. Precisely. You see... Once I revealed Sakura's betrayal, that led to everything that came afterwards. Anyway, it looks like you answered all of my questions correctly. How painfully delightful. But what's the point? What meaning is there in asking those questions now? Relationships? Secrets? Money? Betrayal? These are all pretty standard motives, right? The most normal of normal. Totally middle of the road. But of course, those aren't the only motives that exist in this world. In fact, there are as many reasons to kill as there are people on Earth. What? They compel humans to kill each other, bringing despair to the world. This is what we refer to as the Seed of Despair. Seed of Despair? Just as water, air, and food promote growth in living things, the Seed of Despair also needs nourishment. And that nourishment is hope. Despair can grow only in the presence of hope. Two sides of the same coin, divided by a razor-thin line. Such is hope and despair. How much longer is this stupid speech of yours? Good shit, Kuya. Weren't we discussing our missing memories? Why are you trying to change the subject? Good shit, Kuya. If you would listen, you would see I'm not changing the subject. We are discussing your memories. What I'm trying to say is, the seed of despair is closely tied to your own memories. Maybe what she's saying is like your your influence to kill based on what your true desires are, like what you really hope for. She plays on that and forces you to lose hope, and in turn, you take despair. You choose despair when you lose hope of the one thing you want. You choose despair instead. I don't know, bro. I'm sure she'll explain it with them big ass bazoongas. Uh, how so? You see, by taking away your memories, I gave you hope. 
Of course, that hope merely existed to be consumed by despair. Okay. How could taking away someone's memories give them hope? And plus, you haven't given us any hope anyway! Is that so? All you've been able to think about during your time here is how to escape, right? Right. The mere fact that that's what you want proves I gave you hope. What are you talking about? If none of you wanted to escape this school, the killings never would have taken place. Facts? That is why we took your memories. So that you would have the desire to leave. The only reason we want to leave is because you took our memories. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Correct, Mundo! Which means if we did have our memories, then we wouldn't want to leave. Do I understand that right? What? Why the hell would having our memories make us not want to leave? <laughs> A most troubling thought, isn't it? But it's not enough. I want more distress, more despair. I put so much effort into creating hope in order to feed your despair and make it grow. So, just like Crazy Eddie slashing his prices and passing the savings on to you, let me give you a hint. Huh? Really? Then hurry up and tell us. Okie dokie. Like they say, seeing is believing. I'd like for you to see the outside world. The outside world? You mean the world beyond the school walls? So something really did happen out there. Now are you interested in what I have to say? You want to see what's out there? Yeah, but even if it's f***ed up outside, you're still having us kill each other for your own enjoyment. Regardless, like, why? If you know that if we had our memories, we wouldn't want to do any of this shit, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I want to see, too. It's going to look like Attack see on Titan through these windows. See your faces sink into despair. <laughs> now then, open sesame! Behold! The world beyond the school walls! This is the outside world you've all been so anxious to claw your way back into. Thank you, just show me. I'm tired of hearing your voice. What the f*** is this? What the? Dangerous. The world has grown so very dangerous. That's what this means. What are you talking about? None of this makes any sense! What? What am I looking at? This is a scene from a movie or something, right? What you just saw, all of you should recognize it. We should recognize it? What about it should we recognize? This whole thing is insane. That world is locked away within the memories that were taken from you. If you can't remember, please just try. Do your best to try and recall. <laughs> Better kick your brain in the ass, cause it's up to that gray lump whether you live or die. I don't remember ain't a fucking excuse no more. Cause now it's time for the final class. What? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This trial just turned into two pieces. Oh my gosh. Come on, bitches! Remember or die! What the fuck happened outside? Relax. Relax. You want us to remember or whatever. Be honest, y'all. Be honest with me right now. Is this how I sound when I be in these videos and these live streams? That's how I be sounding when I cuss? She make me not want to say another cuss word for as long as I live. Remember, but when it comes to that crazy confusing video you showed us, I don't understand a damn thing! What's the meaning of the footage we saw? Is this another one of your practical jokes? I mean, you're telling us to remember, but what am I supposed to be remembering? If nobody can remember anything, this is the end. For all of us, what other choice do we have? What am I supposed to- Nobody- <laughs> No! <laughs> 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 
swamp. Give me that. Give me that. Give me. Give me that. Give me that. Give me. Give Actually, me that. She might remember. Uh, who might remember? The other Toko. Genocide Jack. Bring her out. Cut your wrist. I mean, cut your finger. Let her see it. Let her smell what? it. Yeah, Toko, bring her out. The two of them share certain kinds of knowledge, but their memories aren't linked, right? I remember it was something like that. I see. If their memories are separate, then even if one personality's forgotten, there's a chance the other may still have those memories. What do you say, Toko? Are you telling me to swap places with her? No! Absolutely not! That'd be like forfeiting my entire identity! Toko, you're the only one we can rely on now. Good shit, Toko. As soon as he said that, she immediately switched. There wasn't no hesitation. Da, 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 da. It's me, your friendly neighborhood serial killer. Boy, she just gave in like it was nothing. <laughs> right? I'm going to ask you a question, and I want to have it answered immediately. Damn, Kuya! Do you know anything about this video? Huh? What video? The video that's playing right now. Who the hell are you? Right? The presser genocide, Joe. She was talking that shit about you. Oh, um, I'm the mastermind. Wow. Oh, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you too. Are you good? That's enough. Just look at the stupid screen. Aye, aye. Roger, you got it, Captain. If y'all could just see my footwork right now, I'm killing this shit. Underneath the desk. How to, how to get the feet cam for you. Well, does it look familiar? I don't have all the details, but... Of course it does! Then you remember all the stuff it's showing? Of course I do! They got tomato eyes, pepperoni eyes. So you didn't lose your memory after all. Then why didn't you say something earlier? I only answer questions when someone bothers to ask me. I'm the quiet type, you know? Okay, now she's the quiet oh type. Oh my god, she's the worst liar in the world. More importantly, if you really do remember, what is it? Huh? What's the matter, Master? Do you really not remember the tragedy? What? A tragedy? Oh no! You seriously forgot? Maybe I can help you remember with a kiss. Just answer the question. What happened out there? Well, I can't really say if it happened or if it's still happening, but it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. There it goes. What? Why is that phrase coming up now? Because it's all because of that event! What is? Are you serious? I'm talking about the way the world is now! Is... now? The world's been destroyed, get it? Destroyed? Explain yourself! Tell us everything you know! Copy that, darling! Okay, so this big, awful, tragic event, they started just calling it the tragedy, happened about a year ago! Okay. It was so big and so bad that even this murderous fiend went pale at the sight of it. I guess you could say what happened was man-made. But it was more on the level of a worldwide natural disaster. Either way, there's no doubt that it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. And as a result, in basically no time flat! The world turned out the way it did, and that's that. That's all there is to it? Come on! There wasn't a single concrete description in there! Well, it just so happens I don't know any of the specifics! Miss Moreau saw it all play out in real time, so why don't you ask her? We already did, and she didn't know anything. That's why we're asking you. Oh, I couldn't live up to Master's expectations! To die! To die! This is the true tragedy! Okay, okay, that's enough of your little lover's quarrel. Whatever happened, it doesn't matter at this exact point in time, right? The end justifies the means. Everything serves the outcome. 
In other words, the world has ended. That's the important thing. Uh, how can the world just end? It's... it's the world! Calm down. It's okay. There is no need to panic. Every living person will be dead in a hundred years anyway. So the world ending isn't that big a deal. Oh, come on. Now you're just being ridiculous. Well, as long as we're being ridiculous, I have another ridiculous story to tell you. It's the story of the Tagami Corporation, which has given Byakuya's life all its meaning. What? What did you say? I'm glad to see you took the bait. You bit into it like a middle-aged secretary at an all-you-can-eat cake buffet. Hey, hey! So, what do you think happened to the Togami family? What the f***? Wow. Correct! Well done, peasant! But, I didn't say anything yet. I just got so fucking bored waiting, I couldn't help it! Even if you're wrong, eventually you'll figure it out, right? <laughs> Till then, you're just going in circles. So, no matter what you pick, you get the right answer. Pretty innovative, don't you think? But, do you think it might be a disease? Getting bored so easy, I mean. Oh my gosh. Do you think I might be sick? Anyway, like I was saying, Byakuya's entire lineage has been totally annihilated. What? What the hell are you talking about? I can confirm that his entire family has died. Even the distant relatives. The Tagami name has perished. Stop with these idiotic jokes! Stop! And said with such authority! A peasant would dare challenge us? The avatar of divine punishment? You must learn your place, peasant! You are no longer the ultimate affluent progeny! Wow. They, they couldn't possibly be gone! The Togami family is destined to guide the world! They couldn't possibly be gone! Hell, there is no world anymore, remember? It got fucked a full year ago! Oh, hold on! That doesn't make any sense! Huh? I don't make sense? There's no way that happened a year ago! I mean, we only came to this school a few weeks ago! If some kind of world-ending event happened a year ago, then how do you explain the totally normal world we were living in up till then? <laughs> Have you considered the possibility that you're mistaken about that? Mistaken? Well, if I'm understanding you right... It sounds like you think the tragedy happened a year before you arrived here. Well, well yeah. I mean, like he said, we just got here a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago? Ooh, I get it! You're saying that what happened two years ago actually happened more recently, right? Huh? Two years ago? Well, I mean, you guys all started attending Hope's Peak Academy two years ago. Wait, what? Two years ago? What is that? <laughs> What the hell is this chick trying to say? I understand why you'd have trouble accepting it, but in the end, you can't deny the truth. And the truth is, everything is cause and effect. Deny that, and you may as well give yourself up to God. So, you must surely understand all the hints I've given you so far, right? What are the memories I took from you? Come now, answer us. Answer with all your heart and soul. How are we supposed to answer? I... I just don't know what's going on anymore. Still, we have to answer somehow. If we don't, everything ends right here. The memories that were stolen from us. If what Jugo says is true, if we first came here two years ago, but the rest of us only remember getting here within the last few weeks or so. So the memory she took from us... Oh. I got it! If we accept that what you say is true, then we've all lost our memories of the last two years after coming to this school. Nope. Nope. No, no, no. Nope. No. <laughs> I mean, no matter what anyone says, uh-uh. <laughs> Another correct answer. Well done, peasant. Seriously? This routine again? 
better than that other one. I think she Ronda Rousey. You've lost two years worth of memories? That's right. You've already spent two full years here at Hope's Peak Academy. And that entire period of time is precisely what you've forgotten. I don't remember the last two years of my life. That... that's not possible! It is when you smoke the loudest banyan possible. I mean, loudest banyan planted. I want to think that too, but I don't want to believe it. That's nothing but our desire. I don't want to believe. I want it to be impossible. But if that's the truth, then we have to accept it. Holy fuck, man. Oh, yeah. Two years worth of memories. I could never lose something like that. We've been living here for two years? Hell no! That's impossible! I mean, I haven't gone to any awesome school events or anything! Heck, I've never even gone to a single class! This is all just... surreal. Plus, if two years have passed, how freaking old am I? <laughs> Everyone's so conflicted! I know there's evidence that reveals the time as students we've lost. I haven't gone to any of them. Here, you was you was in here you was in here taking class. notes, bro. You was in here taking notes, bro. No, that's wrong. You was in here taking notes. Hero, there's something I'd like you to take a look at. This notebook right here. Huh? Hey, why is my name written on it? I found it in the locker room on the second floor. If you don't mind, could you take a look inside? Sure, whatever you want. But I've never seen this notebook before in my life. You sure about that, bro? That's definitely your handwriting. What's that, what's that? Is something wrong? It's kind of similar. No, even more than that. You remember the assignment. <laughs> This is absolutely my handwriting, without a doubt! But how is this... I don't remember ever writing in this thing! No! No way! It looks like you actually did attend class here at Hope's Peak, but somehow, you forgot all about it. Lies! It's all one big lie! <laughs> I don't want to believe it either. But there's also no explanation for this pocketbook. And whose pocketbook is that? It's mine. And the handwriting inside is also mine. There's no doubt about it. But just like Hero, I have no memory of ever writing in it. And the reason for that is the two years of missing memories? <laughs> After seeing all the evidence, do you have any choice but to acknowledge the truth? Isn't it just so desperately dark? The mystery's solved, but it's like a goddamn funeral in here! Shit, man! Been to a funeral? Hell yes! Two years of school life. How many moments of blossoming youth have you missed out on? How many fun classes? How many school events? This was your chance to build lasting friendships, right? And on top of that, something tragically sad happened one year ago. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. Right before everyone's eyes, the world came crashing down. You absorbed all that despair, but then you forgot it all. And once you'd forgotten, you made the choice to subject yourselves to this killing game. Oh, and there's one other thing. To be even more precise, the memories you all lost were... Actually, never mind. I'm bored. Explaining stuff is boring. I'm so glad this game is over, and I'm going to take a break before I do Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc V2. You know, I love the series, great storyline, they just drag this shit so fucking long. What? We are bored of this world. Everyone always talks big, declaring all the great things they'll do, but then they always fizzle out. This world is just so desperately fucking boring! What are you talking about? 
in a way, I'm jealous of all of you. To give yourself over so completely to such stimulating despair? Yeah, so figure out the rest for yourselves! I'm sick of expositioning all this shit! Figure out... what? Figure out where your memories come apart. That's at the heart of... This is after I set foot in the main hall for the first time, and that was when I fainted. I got it! The moment I lost my memories... I can't think of any time other than... When I first came to the gates of this school, and stepped foot in the main hall. When I passed out, I was overcome with a strange sensation. Wow! You still have enough spirit to keep on talking, huh? Um, so I don't know much about the details, but it seems like everyone remembers passing out, right? And your sense? I guess it must have been something like that. After I passed out, I woke up in a classroom, with my head on a desk. I assumed not much time had passed since I'd collapsed in the main hall. <laughs> but instead, two whole years had gone by! The reason it felt so short was because... Our memories of the time in between had been completely removed? The reason it felt so short was because our memories of the time in between had been completely removed. You got it, honey! Two years of memories? Poof! Gone! Which means, of course... When everyone met for the first time, it wasn't actually for the first time. Unaware of this fact, you took the time to introduce yourselves to each other, but... But by that point, we'd already spent two years together at the school. That's what those photos reveal, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yep. That's what they reveal! You were all such close friends! You spent two years together! And, and it was all so you could escape into a world that's already been annihilated! <laughs> what a terribly tragic tale! Even if you left now, there's nothing you could do to fix it! You're the one who set things up to be like this! I love you all so much. What? Once your school life here began, I thought about you constantly. Why you got mushrooms in your head? It's only natural that I would fall in love. So, since I love you guys so much, I'll tell you all about it! All about the idea we came up with as the ultimate despair! Our plan to bring despair to all mankind! Let's go back in time, two years, okay? Back to when everyone first came to this school. School life during that first year overflowed with hope and happiness. Oh boy, it was just the worst! Everyone was enjoying themselves so much! You were all having the time of your lives! Oh, you fool me. Sayaka! Celeste. But that couldn't last forever, of course. The peacefulness only made it through that first year. <laughs> Hero face, man. Because after that, an event unfolded that hammered a soul-crushing despair into all of humanity. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. The tragedy. The tragedy. All too soon, the world's days of peace came to a bloody end. And as you can imagine, the school was no exception. The tragedy even made its way here, leading to the extermination of most of the students. What... are you? Hmm? What do you mean? The most tragic event in human history, and the ultimate despair that caused it. I can't believe it's all because of just you and Mukuro. Was it some kind of organization? An angry mob? An incredibly motivated family? You have a point. If I had to describe it, I'd say it was none of those. How can I put it? 
It was more of an ideological thing. Despair is contagious, you know. It's almost like a natural phenomenon. Everyone is capable of it. And now the entire world has fallen into despair. In other words, if you see despair as the enemy, then your enemy is the world itself. I just don't understand why. We didn't ask you to try to understand. This was a tangent anyway, unrelated to the matter at hand. Okay, so let's get back to the story. Hope's Peak had taken so much damage. You guys were the only survivors. The members of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy were the only ones left. And then, something super neat happened! Now pay attention, cause this is important, and I'm only gonna say it once! So guess what? To protect everyone who had survived, Hope's Peak was transformed into a shelter! That's right! It was transformed into a shelter! Ah, I said it twice! <laughs> now, someone was responsible for that transformation, for creating what would eventually become your prison. Do any of you know who that might have been? The one who turns hope the one who turned Hope's Peak into a shelter and isolated us here. I got it! The Prime Minister could only have been the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. He wanted to turn the school into a shelter to try and protect us. To protect us from the despair and tragedy taking place outside. That's why he asked us to make that promise. To say that we were willing to live in this school forever. We believe he had something like that in mind, yes. If you, the collective hope of a new generation, could survive, maybe the world could have a fresh start. Yeah, the headmaster put that much faith in you. And because we had that same hope, that's why we all agreed to live here forever. But creating the shelter was also his single biggest mistake. <laughs> it's laughable, really. He was the headmaster, but he had no idea. He had no idea that we, the ultimate despair, had already made our way into the school. So what was supposed to be a shelter to keep you safe? Wow, Kyoko hearing this right now, she probably pissed. Became a cage that made it impossible for you to escape despair. <laughs> I have to say, it really helped me out a lot. It saved me a ton of time. By the way, it was you yourselves who blocked off the windows, the doors, all the exits. Under the Headmaster's direction, you all went about your work like obedient little sheep. You mean... we trapped ourselves in here? And then you forgot all about it, and started bitching about how you were trapped in here! Once you'd finished building your little shelter, it was time for me and Mukuro to get to work! And thus began the killing game! Me and Mukuro had come here, spending the last two years waiting for that moment. That moment where you all began killing each other served as the climax of our global despair plan! And the only reason you survived the tragedy was so that you could be a part of it. You only let us live? So we could go around killing each other? Is that what you're saying? Why? Why would you do that? Because this was so much more than a simple high school death match. Rather, it was a method to hunt down and destroy every last remaining speck of hope in the world. What are you saying? Well, it would seem that there's a little bit left out there. A few souls unwilling to give up hope. So I thought I should show them, which is why I... <laughs> well, why don't you tell me? What the mastermind did to show everyone in the outside world, that was take over the radio or the airwaves or something like that. Oh, alright, uh, give me an I, Thank you. give me a J, thank you. Alright, at least this is easier. Now I understand. Problems to solve. Oh, 
Oh man, this you're is talking wrong. about you hijacking the airwaves, aren't you? There we go. Uh huh. That's exactly what I'm talking about. To show the world the murders taking place at this school, which was meant to be a symbol of hope. That was the whole point of the ultimate despair. When I said climax, that was what I was talking about. The world watched as you fell into despair and began to kill each other one after another. Despair is as contagious as any disease. Any hope left turns to despair. <laughs> Isn't the power of television just amazing? By the way, since we started broadcasting, a whole bunch of people have tried to come and rescue you. Wow. Uh, are you serious? But utilizing the heavy weaponry I installed around the school grounds, I had no problem expelling them. So now she installed weapons around the school? Expelled them? I have to thank you all. They were a relentless bunch, refusing to give up on hope and trying to force their beliefs on the world. But in the end, I was able to give them the final despair. Death. So you just used us? To bring despair to everyone in the outside world? Well, sure, but I also gave you a second chance at life, right? So it's like, give and take! Give and take? You're so full of shit! And there's a reason I chose you guys to survive when all the other students were dropping like flies! I mean, we built up two years of memories together. You were all my treasured classmates. Sorry, that's a lie. I just figured you'd despair even more when you found out a friend had betrayed you. And that's the truth, which is what you wanted, right? So, does it make you feel utterly lost and hopeless? No. You solved the mystery, but despair at the truth, right? Don't tell me. Did you seriously count on the possibility that we would solve your mystery? And if we did, then what? Our final desire for creating this world of despair was so we could experience one last class trial. If you were bold enough to solve the mystery, only to discover that the truth was utterly hopeless, how would you react? What would you do? Kyoko picture, calm down. See? Discovering the truth doesn't necessarily lead to a sense of hope. Truth can be full of despair, too! Like right fucking now! Truth full of despair? That's... Not to mention, all those motives I talked about were totally meaningless. I mean, with the world having ended and all. Meaningless? Then we... We've been murdering each other? For nothing? And think about it. You chose to lock yourselves up here, then started murdering each other to get out. We weren't just random strangers, either. We were classmates. We'd spent two years together. <laughs> no, even I can't laugh at that. We get it. We get it, okay? You're totally awesome, right? We get it already! Don't help us! I'll do anything! Just help me! A peasant begging for his life? Oh, how delightful! We've never witnessed such a travesty firsthand. But I'm sorry to say, begging doesn't work on me. All I want is despair, and there's no reason for it. And since there's no reason, there's no argument against it. There's just no understanding it. No argument, no understanding. What better definition of ultimate despair could there be? Wait, hold on. You've just been going on about whatever you feel like, but but there's no real reason for us to believe anything you have to say. Mm. Okay, that shut her up. Thank you, man. That was a long ass little like speech she had. Huh? Huh? You say the world's fallen apart, but I haven't seen it for myself. Okay. So I don't acknowledge it. I don't accept it as the truth. <laughs> okay, Makoto. Until you see it with your own eyes. Truth and falsehood overlap one another. In other words, you're not unlike Schrodinger's cat right now. Who? Is that what you're saying? If so, what then? Are you saying you won't accept the truth until you can go outside and see for yourself? Well, you better not. You go out into that 
world and you're all gunners for sure! Trust me, I'm not lying about any of this! Well, even if it's all true, I refuse to give in! I refuse to lose to you! Mm. For the sake of everyone you've killed! Mm. Huh? Everyone I've killed? What are you talking about? You're the ones who killed them! I didn't kill anyone. I simply gave you a little nudge in the right direction. And that's all it took for you to start killing each other. You're nothing but bloodthirsty animals. That's why anyone was murdered here, peasant! Say what you want about hope, but we're all creatures of instinct, right? Despair comes naturally! Oh yes! <laughs> that's funny as shit! No! This isn't just some game to us! It's murder! Plain and simple! You stole our memories! Invented reasons for us to do it! You pushed us all into a corner! It's all your fault! You certainly have a talent for passing the buck, don't you? That must be your hope, huh? But we don't have much time left to keep up this banter. Oh, we have God. to draw things to a close soon. Thank you, God. Thank you so much, God. Oh my God. Thank you. What do you mean? I'm talking about the vote, of course! You didn't forget about that little rule, did you? Oh, and also, since this will be the last vote, I decided to change the rules! What? You guys so full of hope, and me so full of despair. I've decided to have you vote which one will be punished. If even one of you votes to punish hope, well then... I'll consider that a win for me, and punish everyone on the side of hope! Even if it's just one person? Oh, but don't worry. I won't be voting, of course. Even if you don't, you've still got the upper hand in all this! It's okay. Nobody would actually vote to kill themselves, right? Oh, let me just mention one more thing. When I win, to punish you guys, you'll have to stay here till you grow old and die. No fighting, no killing. That's your p What? You mean, we just... We'd have to just... live here? She's saying she'll let us live! Well, my headphones just died during this recording. If you're not happy with that, Look at this. then go ahead and punish me and make your way to the outside world. Enter a world fallen from grace, where only despair exists, where you'd likely be dead within a day. What are you saying? So no matter what, we're doomed! Wait a sec! I just got hit with an inspiration bomb! Dying of old age is boring as shit, right? The audience at home isn't gonna dig that at all! So, here's what'll happen! One of you will get to experience an instant, super impressive punishment! What? You... you can't just... Do you mean to say... you'll execute one of us? And I get to decide... who's gonna have to suck it down! Makoto, you're up! I figured it'd be me, I'm the main character. Me? Yeah, you've been acting up, causing all kinds of trouble! I hate you! So let me make this clear. Everyone has two choices in front of them. If a single person votes for Hope to be punished, then only Makoto will receive a harsh punishment, and the rest of you will live here in peace. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out. Ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. What I'm saying is, if you sacrifice Makoto, the rest of you will get to live out your lives! Sacrifice me? B but that's... What? Has your resolve softened? Have you lost confidence? Are you afraid of being punished? Don't you have faith in your friends? N no! That's not it! It's okay. You're right to be afraid. It would seem all of those around you have realized the futility of going against me. Wow. That's fucking whack. Cool, you too? Scared. Shook. Guys? Guys! It's so beautiful. 
Your lovely faces, eroded by despair, have come together as one. Besides, Yoko, you could never betray your father, could you? What? I mean, the headmaster's only wish was that all of you would survive, right? That's why he tried to trap you all here, after all. The least you can do is try to honor your dead father's wishes. <laughs> Kyoko! One person's despair is enough to seal your fate! Isn't that just the most hopeless outcome ever? So, who do you think's gonna give in? Whose despair is gonna sign your death warrant? No one. Nobody's gonna give in to despair! Okay. We're not gonna lose to you! Okay. So boring. Stub until the very end, huh? Well, that's fine. Then let's just hurry up and get it over with. It's time for the final vote. Everything will come to an end. Your stupid hope. And your stupid life! Final vote. This is it. The ultimate confrontation. I have to show everyone. I have to make them remember. I have to convince them not to give up. To live in despair. That's not really living at all. Bro, we've used all of these without well, the photo of Kyoko and Headmaster. Or the pocketbook. Or the ebook. We won't give up! As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! If I were to die, that would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> the fuck? By the way, the air outside is totally polluted, you know. The only reason we're okay in here is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. If I die, the purifiers will screech to a halt. In other words, as soon as I die, the communal life you've all been living will come to an end. Me. All of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside, where only death and despair are waiting. <laughs> Bro, nobody's saying anything. So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? Is that what you want? <sighs> so the only thing that I can shoot... There's no hope left in the world. When you sleep, it's on a bed of despair. The world is in despair. You are in despair. <laughs> that would be the end of Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> Let me just try. Don't lose hope now! Bro. All my fortune-telling senses are telling fuck. me not to leave this place. Everybody need hope, that's why they're quiet. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah! But to live means moving forward, right? So even if it's hard, even if we're scared, we don't have any choice, oh do we? Oh my gosh! I want to keep on living. I want to open the next door. There must be something new waiting for me. So that's why. That's why. No matter what, I need to get out of here. The whole fortune telling thing doesn't matter anymore. What matters is my own gut feelings. We okay, won't hero, give up. Okay. As long as there's hope, uh, okay. we'll never give up. Okay. If I were this to is die. Real cute. This is real cute. That would be the end. I, I've decided to have faith in myself. By the way, the, the only reason is thanks to the air. Mm. The air outside is totally. The only reason we're okay is thanks to the air purifiers in the physics lab. Mm. Don't lose hope now! I've been thinking about all this. What you been thinking about, Hina? Tell and us. And I was thinking. At a time like this, what would Sakura do? Well... You only get stronger by taking adversity by the horns. Mm. Confront that thorny path with enthusiasm. Fire response from Sakura. R.I.P. That sounds like something she'd say, right? For sure. No. 
I think that's definitely what she'd say. For sure. Which is why I... I... Yeah! I've made up my mind! We won't give up! As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! If I were to die, that would be the end. I... I've decided... By the way, the, the only reason is thanks to the... Say whatever you want. I've made my... If I die... In other words, as soon as the communal life you've all been living will come to an end... Me. Ain't no end. Don't lose hope now! <laughs> I don't care either way. I'm fine with whichever one is more interesting. Actually, I may not look like it, but I always hated school. So, no matter how I look, still hate it. <laughs> oh, but no matter what, Master has to come along with us. Master's so shook. We won't give up as long as there's we hope. We'll the never give right up. Now. If I were to die, that would be the end. I have to say By the way. The, the only reason is thanks to the it. Say whatever you want. If I die, in other words, the communal life you've all- I can keep on living! All of you will have to leave. You'll have to go into the world outside. We're What's the matter? You're not actually trying to encourage me, are you? Yes, bro. I've done it to three people already. Relax. <laughs> Ridiculous. It never even crossed my mind that I might give in to despair. But don't misunderstand me. I couldn't care in the slightest what happens to you. I just have to keep my word. I swore I would end the life of the Mastermind. Besides, the Togami family isn't dead, because I'm still alive. Ugh, that was a fiery little saying right there. So until I can restore the Togami family and bring it greater glory than it's ever known... We won't give up! As long as there's hope, we'll never give up! If I were to die, that would be the end. I have to By the way, the, the only reason is thanks to the air. Say whatever you want. If I die, the pure, in other words, the communal life you've all- I can keep on living! All of you will have to- You'll have to go into the world outside. I already said I would claim the map. So, what are you gonna do? Will you just die? <sighs> Don't lose hope now! Okay, I'll go what you guys say, girl. I didn't really know my father, so I can't pretend to know what he was thinking. But even if we're just connected by blood, there's one thing I am sure of. He would never want us to abandon Makoto and choose to stay here. Wow. I can't explain why exactly. But if I'm sure of anything, I'm sure of that. Just because we don't actually know anything, does that mean we can't understand? Could it be that... No, never mind. So, Makoto, I don't think you wound up at this school because you had good luck or bad luck. I think you came here for a different reason entirely. You came here to bring down the ultimate despair. Wow. You came here to confront despair without ever giving up. And if that's true, I think we could call you the ultimate hope. Whoa. What do you think? <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the hell are you? The ultimate hope has been added to the truth of the So uncool! Notebook. Your stupid faces! The stupid things you've said! The stupid way you all treat each other! It's all so uncool! So unhip! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Lame, 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 lame! I'm not any kind of elite anything. Hope isn't a talent you develop, but... But still... But I still... Ah! Let me hit her with some heat. I don't care. You suck! What do you want? So uncool! You dare to stand against us? Hope is a joke. Who are you? Your idiocy ends here. You're gross. Suffer from despair. I just love despair! You suck! What do you want? So uncool! You're unbearable! Hope is a joke! Who are you? Would you like to die? You're Let gross! The ultimate hope. As as I get done Suffer from despair! Everything is pointless! 
despair into tomorrow. Hope keeps on going. Hopefully, my headphones got enough light. I refuse for this to part. give up. I refuse to get bored. I refuse to throw it all away. I refuse to despair. Because all I have going for me is the desire to keep moving forward. What's going on? What's happening? Shut your ass up. I'm out of here. Me and the homies, we finna leave. That's the end of the trial? That's the end of the trial? Oh my gosh. An A! Give me that! It looks like we've reached the end. I think it may be time to vote. We just gotta pull the lever, right? Good. I'm ready to go. <laughs> Let's put an end to these trials. Put an end to the killing. Holy shit. With our own hands. Uh, okay, I'm back in it. I know it's the end, but I just needed them to win already. My assumption at the very beginning of this video was completely wrong. So if you're one of those people who be making these fake YouTube accounts with anime characters, the last six are cool. Makoto, Kyoko, Kuya, Toko, Hiro, and Hina. They're all good people. So everybody else was a, either a victim or a killer. So they weep. The last six, we did it. Indeed. F Junko too. You've lost, Junko. I lost? I lost? Me? N no way. Well, that's just... It can't be! Uh, um... You, you, you still don't accept it. Hmm. Even the ultimate despair itself is vulnerable to the onslaught of despair, it would seem. What the heck? But there's no use trying to fight it now! Well, that's just... Totally the best! Look at her drool, bruh. Huh? So this is despair. We came to this school two years ago, created our incredibly detailed plan. I even killed my own sister for it. I know, I... To come this far and fail at the very end? True despair. It's the most ultimately ultimate despair. What are you talking about? I know, I... Don't you see? I was so hopelessly desperate. I was bored of the world the moment I was born. That's why I've been looking forward to this desperately. This wasn't a lifetime experience. It is my first and last colossal despair here at the moment of death. To have the chance to taste the highest grade despair, the ultra, the utter failure of my dreams. True despair. I'm so hopelessly happy right now. This dude is a fucking weirdo, bro. Huh? Wait, is she enjoying this? Anyway. So are you prepared to admit defeat? You think I care whether I won or I lost? Either way, it doesn't change a thing! Totally the best! Outside is only despair. Inside is only despair. No matter where you go, despair awaits you! Th that's not true. Not possible. You're wrong. Huh? Don't make me repeat myself. Let me tell you this right now. We no longer fear despair. What okay. song what song is this? Because we decided Because we decided to enter the outside world with hope! <laughs> yeah, Makoto totally seduced us over to his side! <laughs> e everyone! Hey. You said the despair is as contagious as any disease. However... But the same is true for hope. Hm. All you have to do is look at us to see how true that is. K K Kyoko! Uh, no, no, no! Oh, stop it! Stop! I hate those faces you're making! To see those awful looks causing me nothing but pain! There's one last thing. Fine, let me just say one last thing. If you guys want to get all hung up on the word hope, that's no skin off my nose. But just be warned, from this point on, one despair after another will stand in your way. <laughs> no matter where you run, no matter where you hide, maybe you'll find some hope, but there's a very fine line dividing that hope from bitter despair. Excuse me. <laughs> Knowing that, you still plan to cling to your hope? Of course, because we- It's fine, it's fine. Shut up, shut up! That was a rhetorical question. You interrupted my monologue. I'm almost done though, so whatever. <laughs> because it's almost punishment time, right? It can't be. 
Do you really intend to go through with this? <laughs> that was the agreement, right? Oh, hold on! It's not like I want you to die, you don't have to- Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! What? How many times do I have to tell you? The act of living brings me no hope at all! <laughs> all I want now is to taste that despair of death that you only get once in a life, so- Don't get in my way! Okay, well... Yeah, good luck downstairs. That's eternal despair. You you don't know anything about that. <laughs> she really just hit the poo hoo hoo. So this is how the despair of death feels. <gasps> it's so wonderful. What? Even a tenth of this despair. Even a hundredth. I want every last soul on this planet to taste such despair. She's got fucking issues, bro. I want the entire world to die with that despair in its mouth. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Look at her eyes, brother. Oh my god. I deserved an extra special punishment for last. For yourself? Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! Okay. <laughs> Yo, bro. What the f <laughs> Yay! Yay! This is for all the homies who died. I can't feel sorry for this. No. Wow. What a series. I know that trial had me dead, bruh. I apologize. No, I don't, though, because I can't just be faking it. If I'm not feeling a game or I'm not feeling a moment in the game, I gotta let y'all know. This is my channel. Not yours. And that's how everything came to an end. The final class trial. Junko Inoshima, the ultimate despair. Life at Hope's Peak Academy. It was all over. Wow. What am I going to do with that? Yes, I want to save. I don't ever want to do that over again, ever. But even after saying it was all over, it's not like the building exploded or collapsed in on itself or anything. That wasn't the kind of ending waiting for us. Nothing changed. Well, with one exception. The air purifiers turned off. Just like Junko said. They shut off immediately. That was the only difference. Goodbye, Despair High School. Look at Hina ass poking out them shorts. Alright, we left the courtroom and made our way to the main hall. We stood in front of the door. Nobody made a sound. I felt almost absent-minded. This was our epilogue before the final ending. We were stuck there in limbo, unmoving, unsure. But, in the end... Hey. We can't just stand around like this forever. At some point, we need to leave. To nobody's surprise, it was Kyoko who broke the silence. Makoto. Would you do the honors? Uh oh okay? As if awakened by Kyoko's words, I took out the object we'd gotten. Up until the moment of her death, it had belonged to Junko. And in the end, she dropped it before us. So, um... But, but, is that really it? Is that really the key to this door? Indeed. You don't have to read into what she said too much to find the answer. If, on the other hand, you desire to see us punished, then you must all leave this place. I will force you out, ensuring you all die horrible deaths in the outside world. In other words... I will force you out. She said that just before dropping that. It makes sense that it would be our way out of here. But... But you never know! Maybe it's actually a switch that's gonna make the school self-destruct! I mean, Junko never said specifically that she'd let us leave here alive! It's true. Maybe right about that. <laughs> Maybe! Yes. But even so, it's impossible to think we wouldn't take our chances with it. 
Um, yeah, yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> there, there's nothing to worry about! My beautiful scissors! If something ever happened to Master, I'd take my scissors and jam them so far up! Huh? Hey, hey, w w where's the courtroom? Where's the m mastermind? Oh. It's all over. We're just about to leave the school. <laughs> what? L Lee? We can go outside? <laughs> then that means me and m master can get married. <gasps> and then he'll g give me a little jewel of a baby. That's enough. Please, stop. That would be a greater horror than anything I've encountered so far. Anyway... Don't worry. I have no doubt that we'll be able to leave here without a problem. But... It's what happens after we get out that I'm worried about. <sighs> but you know, in the end, I... I think part of me still thinks... For serious? Maybe when we get out there, we'll see that everything she said about the world was a lie. That on the other side of this door is a world as peaceful as we remember. A lie. Peaceful as we remember. Well, no matter what it looks like, it's still our world. It's where we're meant to live. Uh, um. Yeah, I guess so. And how do I put this? Unlike the school, the world is really big, right? Since it's so big, I'm sure there must be some despair, no matter what. But there also has to be a lot of hope, right? In other words... The act of searching for hope, to try and find it, that by itself is the true meaning of hope. As long as you have that hope, you can keep moving forward no matter what trouble you may fall into. Am I wrong? Is that what you mean, Makoto? Yeah. It's pretty much the gist of it. <laughs> I don't need any of you to spell that out for me. You know, Junko mentioned that there were still others out there who hadn't cast away hope just yet. <laughs> Maybe I should find them and make them work for me. To rebuild the world, we must first rebuild the Togami Dynasty. <laughs> oh, I'll go with you. I'll follow you anywhere you want to go. You got it. Well, my first stop is going to be the closest donut shop. I can figure out the rest from there. Hey. And what are you gonna do if there are no more donut shops? Or donuts? Okay. I'll just get some flour and make some myself. And if there's no flour, I'll just grow some wheat. <gasps> ah! Uh, I get it now! Hmm. If there's no road, you just gotta build one! Creation! Fate is telling me to remake the world! Could it be? That's. That's my hope! How about that? I've reached the next stage! The next chapter of Yasuhiro's Hagakiri's life story is about to begin! Woo! Thanks, Hina! You've totally opened my eyes! Woo! Oh. Hey! Personal space, buddy! You're seriously creeping me out! Makoto. Come on, Makoto. Even if everyone, even if everyone in the outside world is gone, even if the world is steeped in despair. <laughs> as long as I have people like you around, I can, I can face forward and keep moving. If we can get out there and do something, have some sort of impact. But what can we do? There's so few of us and we're so small. So what can we do? No. We can probably do anything. Yeah. Yeah! We can do anything! Well, I guess this is goodbye. And goodbye to Sakura. But hey, if we gotta say goodbye, we may as well do it with a smile on our face. Hey guys! You guys want your fortunes told anywhere, anytime. You just let me know. I'll be there. You know how much I hate being annoyed. But if something does come up, you may as well let me know. I can't guarantee I'll actually bother listening, but, you know. I don't know why, but I have a burning desire to start writing. I might be able to pull it off. 
A story about Master and me. And the others, I guess. Beautiful story. I can't say I'm sorry about what happened, but still. It does feel kind of strange. I really don't know what to say. I guess we graduated? It looks like hope really is spreading. As long as I never give up. I have to push even harder. I'm gonna keep moving forward with hope in my heart. Since I have hope, I can show courage. Since I have hope, I can move ahead. The world can move ahead. The door began to open. With my hands, with our hands, hope and despair mingled together, opening the door to the future. No! No! Oh, f that scared me. I thought they was gonna get blasted. What's out there? Is that a big fan? Is that us getting our memories back? Is that a portal? Huh? What is it, like some Narnia shit where I, it's only been like 20 minutes in each of our lives, but it felt like two years? Oh, they gonna hold me like that? Spike, you bet not, my nigga. Cause see, Spike think he funny. Spike think he funny, cause, cause, cause it, cause what Spike trying to do right now is let, is let us know it doesn't matter about if there is a world out there or not. With hope, you can rebuild anything. You can conquer anything. So it's almost like I have to have hope that there is a world out there for the rest of those students. But guess what, Spike? I ain't live on Earth, my nigga. I live on Earth. Where I can look outside of a window. Nobody boarded up my shit. I can look outside of a window and see if this is the real world or not. And then I'll achieve hope in my own world. Let me see what these motherfuckers walking into. But I guess we gotta see on the next day in Europa, huh? V2, huh? I already know that's what y'all finna say. Berlizzi, you have to start V2 right now. We wanna... Oh, shit. <laughs> Interesting. Things are getting very interesting indeed. Don't play with me. <laughs> what you talking about? Like I said at the beginning, I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma. And I am your... I am this school's... Oh! I knew this nigga was gonna jump scare me, bro. F That's the thing, though. I love getting scared, so I was like, I was, like, I wasn't even bracing for it. I was like, super vulnerable. Like, please get me, my boy. And he did. He looked up at me. Who controlling him? That's the thing. I don't get who's controlling him. Yes, yeah, save. Wow. This is a what if simulation type Thrills, play mode. Chills, kills. <laughs> no. Y'all let me know if y'all want to see that in a separate playthrough. I think that's like some just some bonus shit. So PG, my, my assumption was completely wrong at the beginning of this video. But I'm gonna show them the time so that they can see for themselves how long I've been at this. So yeah, give me a break when I say, you know, just just trying to get this video done for y'all. It may seem like I was a little annoyed at some points, but all in all, this was a fantastic series. And I kind of came back alive towards the end of that because it felt good knowing that my friends here at Hostweek Academy were actually able to escape together as one. Now y'all did see that little bit of, uh, what, what is this called? They said this is like a what if game, so I don't know if I want to do that or not. Y'all let me know in the comments. Should I just 
skip that and then when when the time comes to return to Danganronpa we just do number two then I'm probably going to play a different story based game after this it's not gonna be Danganronpa it's either gonna be Persona 5 which I which I'm not leaning towards because I heard that that game is like close to a hundred hours bro what do I look like playing a hundred hour game I did see this game called Corpse Party Corpse Party that I think could be pretty interesting on the channel horror based Decent storyline. A lot of people have voted for it on my Discord, which again you can check in my description down below. Um, and then I'll probably return to Danganronpa after that playthrough. This was almost an, a year long in the works, bro. And I don't ever want to have a series go like that again. But I just, I don't know. Life happens, you know. I'm not gonna sit here and make excuses for it. I give Danganronpa one arousing 7.8. I give it an 8 out of 10. I give it an 8 out of 10 for the storyline. I give it an 8 out of 10 for the character development. I give an 8 out of 10 for the plot twist. And the gameplay itself was actually pretty solid. Investigating. Uh, each investigation I was being thrown off there wasn't one time where I was like okay besides Sakura I think no no no. even then I was thrown off because Hina didn't know I didn't know that I don't even know what the easiest trial was right it might have been Sakura's but there was still some twists and turns in that like the fact that she wrote the letter and it was just, it's, it's a wild series and I think if anybody would have watched it back all in one they'd be like this is some heat somebody really took some time to write this now again this is based off of an anime y'all can look it up watch the anime back yourselves let me know is it is it like is it parallel to the gameplay does it happen the exact same way are they missing some deaths are they missing some moments that i should check out on the on the anime is the game better than the anime let me know um number two i don't think was picked up as the anime i think number two is its own thing so a lot of people will probably come to see this because they didn't watch the anime itself Wow, though, my, my assumption of Makoto being the being the, the killer, it was the way that they had approached me towards the end walking into that trial of last episode when I was when I was like trying to talk to everybody and they kept ignoring me. I thought maybe they knew something about me that I didn't know because I, I lost my memory, you know. But man, Junko, when I when I recognized that it was Junko's scars, it all started to click. And I think from there. I mean, because I was reading the comments from last video, too. And some people were like, bro, how can you not see it? It's right there in your face if you just look hard enough. Bro, I wasn't even thinking about them scars. And when they and when they mentioned knife wounds, I'm thinking about the one in her chest, not the impalement that she went through in episode 4 or 5, bro. It was so early on. What a great game, though. Thank y'all so much for recommending me this. If y'all did enjoy this series and are glad that it's come to a close, hit the thumbs up on that button. I truly appreciate it. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos and hit that notification bell. I don't go live too much on here anymore. I've actually moved to Twitch. If you are hip to my Twitch or if you are not hip to my Twitch, I should say, click the link in the description. Follow me up. Hit the notification bell over there because I go live pretty fucking frequently. I shouldn't be cussing like that. Yo, what's up with Juco cussing like that, bro? Let me know in the comments as well. Do I sound like that when I be playing these games and cussing so much? That really made me look at myself like, bro, do I really want to be sounding like her? Like, she just sounds so stupid and young. Like, like, just foolish, you know? Let me get off my soapbox. I love each and every one of you. Yeah, you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, y'all. Woo, we done.